Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Keep standing, please. Psalm 77. Psalm 77. We begin our reading from verse 13. Psalm 77. We we'll read from verse 13 down till 20, and then we'll be seated. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? 14. Thou art the God that doest wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among thy people. 15. Thou hast with thine arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. We're reading to 20, 16. The water saw thee, O God, the water saw thee. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled. 17. The clouds poured out water. The sky sent out a sound. Thine arrows also went abroad. The voice of thy thunder was in the heaven. The lightnings lighted the world. The earth trembled and shook. 19. Thy way is in the sea, and thy path in the great waters, and thy footsteps are not known. Thou ledest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. I'd like you to lift your voice and say, Father, fulfill your word in my life today. Just pray that one prayer. Please be serious. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let there be a performance, O oh God. You are the You are the God that doeth wonders. Thy way is in the sanctuary. Lord, I am in the sanctuary tonight. Do wonders in my life, wonders in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Please be seated. It's my joy to welcome everyone to our miracle service for the month of August. I think we should celebrate the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, my heart is really excited. First, because God is still God. Now, that's not a little statement. God is still God. And so we are glad that we will never see shame. Second, because he will never gather a people to himself until there is a feast. He said, go and compel the people to come. The feast was already prepared. Hallelujah. And third, because I truly believe from the depth of my heart, that every one of us, by the grace of God, will walk out of this place rejoicing, celebrating. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I especially want to thank, you know, God, ba. let me tell you this. When you walk with God, he will continually make your life a sign and a wonder. I want to truly celebrate and appreciate all who have taken the pain, the sacrifice, the resources to travel from within and outside this country. So many people have been here from within the week. There are people who came in um, from the morning till evening. They've been on their way, risking themselves on the road. Um, why would God allow you go through this rigor? And then just leave you with a good feeling. No, you are in for an experience that will be worth any sacrifice that you paid to be here. You've heard me say it, but let me tell you this sincerely. If you ever find your way to this ground, it's already a, a sign 
that is a miracle has started in your life and now you will think i'm just bragging and boasting until the lord opens your eyes to see the resistance that fights you from where you are to this place that you truly survived and arrived there is already for you it's a token already that that laughter is already on the way praise the lord um i especially want to bless god for our precious lagos family let's honor them precious precious it's a real family i tell you thank you so much house on the rock hicc and the lord bless and honor you in the name of jesus now please listen i was just meditating um this afternoon you know it is very difficult to be me let me explain to you what i mean when you understand that by the privilege of god's grace the miracle the deliverance the healing of someone is resting on your knowing god on your accessing his power is a very difficult responsibility praise the lord because the guilt that will latch on to you if the people live without being blessed and changed they came because they believed god and then they believed you it's up to you to prove that the god who sent you is still alive you see how difficult it is but then as i meditate on the wonderful things that god continues to do by his grace in and through my life and this ministry you know we get literally without exaggeration so many the testimonies that are shared here is is not is not up to one tenth of the wonders that god continues to do in the lives of people the transformation the healing the restoration favor encounters and so on and so forth and um you know when people say joshua selman did it or the god of joshua selman all of these things by my persona i'm not somebody who um i'm not a spotlight person at all at all if i have my way i would gladly hide behind and you know just let god do his thing um but sometimes the kind and the nature of responsibility that god gives you would always require that you make contact with people and i'm really grateful to god i can tell you this i am as blessed by the testimonies as though it didn't happen by god and through me when i listen to these testimonies my my phone is always full of testimonies situations that you cannot imagine and then as we continue to grow by his grace in the anointing it's amazing to see what new dimensions begin to come in and are introduced into our lives and our experience because there is increase and growth in the anointing um, i'm taking out time to say this i'm just sharing my heart with the lord when i came out from the car i saw our precious people standing outside everywhere knowing the probably hundreds of thousands millions of people from around the world following and everybody is silent now and all of them are looking at one man take the stage lord have your way i'm just a vessel and nothing more when you're done please take the glory 
satisfied just to see you glorified. Please take the stage, Lord, and have your way as they behold you. I'm just a vessel. There's nothing more. When you're done, even tonight, please take the glory. I'm truly satisfied just to see you glorified. When you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. After you would have healed, oh God, delivered, torn someone's decade old challenge overnight. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Lord, every time people say me, let it be that they mean you. Every time they say it is Joshua Selman, let it be that they truly meant to say you, Jesus, the Son of the Living God. When you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. My desire has never been to be a preacher. My desire has never been to be a celebrity. No. All of these things mean absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. All that I desire with my life is that God can find a space through this vessel and bring glory to the name of his son. And I'm telling you, if that happens, I am completely satisfied. This mundane pursuit of so many things, that's not it at all. I sang this song from the depth of my heart. It's not just something you pretend because you're on stage. It's, it's been my passion to see that the mighty things that God would do even tonight, that it would not just be the promoting of the name of a man as inevitable as that may look but that behind all of this my desire is to see Jesus to see him glorified and his name be lifted that for me it's an honor already to be the vessel to be used by God and let me teach you something please listen if you're a man of God here, please listen. This is a miracle service. Conquer the addictiveness of fame and power. Conquer it. It's a beautiful experience to be on the other side of the applause, on the other side of the commendations. It's a wonderful thing. But if you do not conquer the deception that comes with that lust to be known, to be famous, you will never go far with God. Pray as far as you can pray. Fast as far as you can fast. Read the Bible for as long as you can read. But if that heart condition that circumcision does not happen you will never go far with God I believe with all my heart that this is a word already for someone you know most times when people see God um, doing mighty things through men 
the celebration that comes with results begins to whet the appetite of their lusts and they think oh dear let me have this opportunity and shine too and prophesy too and pray no. this song must become a, an anthem and a desire in your life and I if I be lifted up from the earth he says I will draw all men to myself it is cheaper stepping back and allowing him take his place hallelujah I will just share a few things very briefly and then we'll pray we have a lot to do but the Lord just inspired in my heart to challenge us and it's important for us to understand that God I will continue to teach us this the boundary of God's power is his word God is limited by the provisions that his word allows he cannot go outside of the scope of his word in blessing in lifting in delivering whatever it is that he does has to be consistent with the allowance provided for by his word hallelujah and so it, it matters I know that many of us are here we're trusting God to just step in don't worry just 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 calm down and lend your attention let the Holy Spirit minister very deeply and challenge you because when the Word of God listen carefully please when the Word of God is not released there is no basis for the power of God to flow are we together now the Bible says in that light is the hiding place of his power the power of God hides behind his light and so when the effulgence of that light comes then his power is ready to be released the first thing I want to share tonight is is a word of caution again to just remind us again number one that every believers pursuit and goal is to be like Christ and to reflect him to the world please listen our goal is beyond miracles our goal our pursuit is beyond signs wonders our pursuit is beyond the knowledge of mysteries and principles as powerful as they are it is important for us to understand fundamentally that our pursuit sincerely in this kingdom is number one to become like christ experientially apostle was speaking and he said my little children in whom i travel until christ be formed in you so the formation of christ in a believer and then the ability to reflect Christ to the world this should be our highest pursuit so miracles signs wonders methodologies and principles deliverance healings all of these things are subsets and must remain so they are only possibilities that are brought into our lives to the end that we find the comfort and the stability to pursue this one goal to be like Christ and to reflect Christ to the world if we veer off from this ultimate goal then miracles will no longer be a blessing listen carefully prosperity will no longer be a blessing breakthrough of any sort will no longer be a blessing the value the value in receiving the miraculous in prospering receiving restoration breakthrough etc the value is in its ability to contribute to keep you at ease so that you can continue this pursuit of becoming like Christ in experience are we together it is very important because it is easy for believers to veer off now because we are humans please you have to listen to this many of us 
seated here right now and many following from around the world online we were buffeted by all kinds of situations and truly let me tell you um the human was not designed to find ease in pain so that that focus to get pain away to get everything that looks like tragedy it can overwhelm your desire to pursue christ you just want the money because you are tired of the embarrassment from landlord you want to know the principles you're tired of being laughed at and so on and so forth you want the miracle you are tired of the pain you are tired of living on drugs you know you want the job you are tired of being limited you want the child you know all of these things they are very legitimate desires but i am saying the real value of the manifestation of the power of god is the revelation of jesus christ through it you have to understand this so all that we do here all that we teach all that we do is an attempt to coordinate our lives and our destinies together by the spirit to the end that when all is said and done more than the knowledge of principles more than the knowledge of formulas and methodologies more than physical results of breakthrough prosperity increase speed and all of these possibilities in the kingdom more than all of this our greatest pride in fact even more than purpose an assignment as it were that we become like christ in experience and then out of the abundance the richness of him that has been formed in us we can reflect that to the world whoever does that is a winner a real winner hallelujah ministries that work in very strong dimensions of the anointing the prophetic healing signs and wonders usually will need to remind themselves every once and again because the charismatism around the move of god and the manifestation of god's power alone can tilt you away from this understanding are we together in a few minutes now god is going to be touching lifting blessing people and all kinds of testimonies will be coming and sometimes we have believers who tabernacle within organizations and spiritual platforms like this for many years they never know God they never have a personal encounter with God their lives do not become reflections of his possibilities with time although they get miracles although they receive impartations although the gifts of the Spirit continue to work in their lives are we together although they will buy cars and houses and build estates although the ministries will move from permanent side to permanent side and increase and expand and become successful in as much as we know success to be but if all of these things happen and they do not point us back to the lord and help us to know him not to know what he can do to know who he is then there is a serious problem is God blessing us today? There are people who will never opt to be born again. They are uninterested in anything that has to do with salvation. They are not interested in God, but they are interested in every other thing aside from salvation. They want the healing power that comes with the kingdom. They want the fame, the increase, the speed. They want the revelation, everything that can come, they desire. But that encounter with the Son of the living God is something that... Um, even ministers are uninterested really they just want the charismatism and the reason is there is an explanation because we are humans we work with our senses and the things that we see and experience is what we can relate with are we together and whoever is the face behind that will have all kinds of benefits financial benefits benefits of fame and influence and loyalty etc so it is it is more rewarding physically to ignore the pursuit of the knowledge of christ and pursue the manifestation of power and miracles 
if someone throws his crutches with blind eyes is open if a deaf ear opens i mean that news will spread far if you say someone was saved you say well glory to god as usual but what really happened what people mean i mean what is the wow factor in the meeting we must be spiritual enough to value the power of becoming like christ we must be spiritual enough to see the all surpassing superiority that that pursuit provides above and beyond getting things it is god's desire that our lives become a reflection of christ knowing god and having a personal walk with god is our highest priority write it down please knowing god and having a personal walk with god is the believer's highest pursuit our highest priority is not to end the family crisis please listen if you are not listening to me it's a sign that the devil is distracting you because what i'm saying is very important you will receive the miracles you will receive the signs the wonders the miracles the breakthrough this is for sure but knowing god and having a personal walk with god is our highest priority our highest priority so while i receive the miracle the job the breakthrough the blind eyes opening the deaf ears opening speed coming into my life restoration happening decades of barrenness vanishing overnight infirmities and diseases living just like that more than those things please listen to me the real value is that they now take away the hindrances that can distract my pursuit of knowing God are we together why do we hate poverty not because poverty um, we hate the role it plays in limiting your knowing God and becoming like him why because it takes time to know God it takes time to understand his ways and that same time it takes to know God is what the world demands of you to be able to give you financial stipends so there is a conflict you have your time it can be used to know God or it can be used to pursue wealth all through your lifetime this is why we hate poverty and then because every time you are serving the Lord Caesar will come I've taught you this and demand tribute when you focus to worship God Caesar will come and if the way to be a peacemaker in the earth is a formula give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God while you worship God keep Caesar's coin because he's coming when he comes give him his coin and Caesar will go and you keep worshiping God but the moment you cannot give Caesar's tribute you will have to forgo your worshiping God to labor to find his coin and give to him Caesar distracted Jesus and distracted his service Jesus said okay Peter you have to go fishing you were supposed to be listening to me but now that Caesar has come because it's a law we have to break this transmission of worship and sometimes it's not ours it's your lifetime are you getting it now so by the time I prophesy financial favor or I teach you on the principles of finance it's not just for money's sake it is to be able to keep Caesar's gold and when Caesar knocks the door you say carry it please I'm focusing on God and destiny your tribute is there for you the disturbance of Caesar is a terrible strategy to take you away from God Caesar will come as your child's school fees it will come as all kinds of wicked bills growing geometrically so to be a peacemaker is to sustain the intelligence and the ability to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and then give to God what belongs to God 
why do we expose people to the power of God to lift what is there about lifting because you cannot make impact when you are in the pit when Joseph was in the well he remained there we don't know what he was doing down there but one thing we know is that he was not making any impact he was alone when he was brought out and honored in the palace when he was there he was able to salvage his brothers why do we have to prophesy speed are we together the reason is because our, the unit of destiny is time please listen very carefully whatever eats your time has eaten a portion of your life many of us got born again late already you dedicated a major chunk of your life to ignorance and to the service of the devil and now that you are born again there is still the law of process and if you are to follow the law of process in its normal course you will never have the time to know god and serve so god will have to introduce i call them systems of advantage he will bring them into the equation of your destiny to restore time so that in one year god can put 10 years inside one year and then now he can allow you to make progress are we together a woman who has been barren for 10 years already she, she would have had maybe three children at least well spaced and happy even if she has one child she's making progress but restoration has not yet happened to her but when God gives that woman triplets he didn't give her children he took time and brought it back nine months and an experience that was to span nine years he brought it in nine months are we together so i want you to see every miracle and everything that happens to you with respect to its contribution or its inhibition to your knowing god and pursuing him if you remain poor like many people have chosen to the challenge there is that they will not know God and they will stop others from knowing God. If you remain weak and you are not strong, the challenge is one day your body will not be able to host the spirit again and it will leave. Because there is a requisite health condition for the spirit to be able to stay in this body. Your body is your passport to function in this realm. Not your passport to be alive. You don't need the body to be alive, but you need the body to be authorized to function in this dimension of God's kingdom. This is the reason why we agree with people that demonic sicknesses like cancer, like HIV, and all these sicknesses that don't have names, but have symptoms and the pain that they bring. When we agree for people to be touched, it's not just showing that a man of God is anointed. Is a way of saying God is interested in your longevity God is interested in you serving him because those things are dead sentences hallelujah are we together so I want you to see everything that you will receive tonight with respect to its contribution when you see someone getting healed or getting delivered don't look at the rowdiness of the process. Rejoice with that person because something is happening to that person that will grant him or her the ease to serve God now. Are we together now? Our messages must be central and eventually. Remember the formula in, in the days of Moses. There were serpents, but there was a brazen serpent that was lifted. And that the condition was that if you set your gaze on that one, you will survive this one. In any case, you must look at the serpent. You can choose to look at the one that is on the ground there or look at the one lifted. Are we together now? And that anyone who stayed there, ignoring all of these things and stayed there, that person was saved. Healing is pointless if it does not lead to Christ. Deliverance is pointless if it does not lead to Christ. Prosperity, a job, increase, all kinds of miracles, they are pointless if they do not lead to Christ. 
so it's important for every one of us to get this number two the second thing i would say tonight is the fallacy listen carefully we must conquer the fallacy of trying to do what we have not become the futility of attempting to live out a lifestyle that has not been captured in our paradigm and our mindsets listen very carefully it is futile to attempt to do things any lifestyle that your mindset cannot host is not yours this is very powerful listen to my teaching the mystery of deliverance i call it deliverance through transformation many believers listen to me very carefully now there are people who do not believe that the idea and the concept of deliverance even exist it does it truly does the only balance is that casting out a spirit or an influence as i always teach is not the end of it now please we need africa we need to hear this because um we many people do not want to go through the labor that brings transformation so that our experiences now reflect what the word of god says i can cast out a spirit out of a man the influences can leave you spirits not only stay in men a spirit can stay in a business a spirit can stay in your it doesn't have to be in and around the faculties of man mm -mm. man is their most preferred habitation but not the only habitation spirits can stay in a business they can stay anywhere anything that can have a material expression can be home to spirits they can stay in a challenge a challenge can be a body and a spirit stays there are we together now now but praying and setting you free from the influence of that spirit is only part one of your true freedom the other part is that you must be transformed please say transformed when jesus was given what we would know to be his manifesto the messianic prophecy isaiah 61 and then luke chapter 4 he said the spirit of the lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings listen carefully to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Are we together? And then he said to set the captives free. He had sent me to proclaim, one of the versions who say, proclaim deliverance. There is a dimension of deliverance that is not conducted. It is through the accurate dispensing of the word of God. That means that your understanding must become fruitful to that dimension then your lifestyle follows suit are we together now it is futile to try to do things any experience you want to live out that has not been captured as a reality in your thinking believers a major part of our growth is in the realm of the mind you have to know this it's unfortunate that many people criticize any effort to transform the mind to meticulously mentor believers into understanding usually they think it is weakness a major part of the ministry of jesus was dedicated in mentorship in fact he did not finish the curriculum when he resurrected he called all of them to the lecture and for 40 days he needed to tidy up some things before he would leave their growth happened principally through his the mentorship of the word he started in matthew chapter 5 the beatitudes teaching them the ways of the kingdom this is how we function in this kingdom when they embraced it then they now made room to be empowered by the spirit that means the ministry of the holy spirit will look almost useless in the life of a believer who does not contend for transformation there is a dimension of his spirit that brings us to that transformation but the richer part of the ministry of the holy spirit is seen when we are transformed not before we are transformed 
the primary role of the Holy Spirit before our transformation is to guide us into the body of truth allocated to construct our understanding so that we reign. That's his primary assignment. And then to convict and so on and so forth. The richness of his ministry, the potentials of a man's receiving the Holy Spirit is experienced first by him and then by his territory only when he's transformed. That means if we are not transformed, we will shortchange the potentials of the life and the ministry of the Holy Spirit as can be seen in us. Most people think when the Holy Spirit comes, he just continues to transform you and then that's... No, 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 no. Transformation has an end. Are we together now? That means you should be able to attain onto a level of commendable maturity where the Holy Spirit says, now we can do business together. You have risen to a realm where I can freely manipulate your faculties to the degree to which they will allow me to express myself richly. Transformation is powerful. Many believers will not contend for transformation. And there is a consequence. If you do not contend for transformation, the, the, the consequence is that you will return back to the circle of exorcism, casting out devils, temporary liberty, casting out devils, temporary liberty, casting out devils, temporary liberty. Remember that the spirits don't need to only come. See, listen, let me tell you. Come, um, Dr. Mecca, look at this. This gentleman can, I can speak over his life prophetically. Watch this. And within the space of two, three days, even one day, this man can receive a million naira, two million naira. Now, he has not prospered. That blessing is to help him to be able to solve the needs that press him so that he can learn the ways that prosper men. Because the devil is not afraid of the money he's held. The money is not in his mind. So he, he is not his own. It was a loan that was given to him prophetically. It becomes his when the money is in his mind. So he can hold on to that and say, Ah, apostle is powerful. And after two months, the, the futility of his understanding will abort that miracle. Are we together now? Because he does not know the ways of God allocated for the increase and the sustenance of resources. Inevitably, no matter how careful he, used that, he uses that money, it must finish and must leave him. It's not an attack, it's the law. I've taught you. Because his growth does not allow this kind of result. Prophecy routed a way of bringing it to help him fast. But because transformation was not there, it must leave him. Now, when it leaves him, he will come back again and say, Apostle, I brought 10,000 like that day. And I will still speak. I will say now in the name of Jesus, may God bless you. This time around, it doesn't matter how much comes. It's still the same thing. Whether it's 100,000 or 10 million, he's still in trouble. He's not free. Are we together now? So it is true that the spirit of poverty can be around this man's business, this man's life, and so on and so forth. I'm just using this as an example. Now, after I take authority over that spirit, the Bible says when a spirit leaves a man, it goes through dry regions looking for a safe place, a place of habitation. Not finding any, the spirit will advise itself. I will arise like the prodigal son and return back to my house. He's still calling the man. That means you remain just because a spirit leaves you or leaves your business does not mean you are free. It finds the house swept, clean, but empty. And then the Bible says it gathers seven others. Jesus is teaching here now. That means this is how the realm of the spirit works. And returns back to that man so that the latter state of that man is even worse than the former. And because of his ignorance, he will say the man of God is fake. The man of God is not fake. You are not transformed to sustain the miracle. Are you getting where the ignorance of believers come from? At least you, were in a, you, you, you had a house. After the breakthrough, now you don't even have a house again. And you say, ah, I don't know what kind of a reverse anointing works 
in this church or in this ministry or somewhere. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. But now imagine with me that God steps in over Dr. Emeka's life. Are we together? And then the Lord blesses him, still using the finance that, that, that I'm giving an illustration around. And this guy now, God blesses him. And he decides to say now that at least one million has come. My destiny is bigger than one million. But one million can quickly help me pay maybe my rent. Are we together? And just sort out my children now. I can, even if I can't pay everything, I can pay first step. I can rest. While he's doing that, he now subjects himself and says, Do you know what? I want to find out God's ways. The ways are located for the prosperity of the saints. And he begins to gather these teachings. While he's listening, do you know what he's doing? He's closing the door. This guy is prospering not when he's doing business, when he is fortifying his mindset so that the possibility for that spirit to come in does not exist again. To preach deliverance to the captives. Many believers continue to hop from prayer house to prayer house. Now, I'm, I'm not being sarcastic. I would not do that. From church to church, from apostle to apostle, prophet to prophet, pastor to pastor, in need of what only transformation can sustainably bring. Are we together now? Yes. We will prefer to do all kinds and all manner of prayer than to settle down and say something is wrong. Notice, no matter what job this guy gets by prophecy, he loses it through ignorance. Prophecy brings it. Ignorance. When the devil marks that you have this stronghold, he will no longer fight the prayer that is coming. This is how Satan mocks many men of God across Africa. Before they pray, the demon leaves joyfully because he knows he will come back. He studies the mindset and finds out that it has become a stronghold. The door has been opened and has been hinged to something to keep that door open. And the spirit says, I can stroll around. The service will soon finish. And I will route through just one door of ignorance. And I'm back to the life, back to the business. Are we together? Very, very powerful. So this gentleman, as he's transformed, something is happening to him. You will find out prophecy. Now You will see the potential of the prophecy or the prayer or the deliverance, as you would call it. It will show in his transformation. So he can return and say, 10 years ago, watch this. Once upon a time, I was poor or I was weak or I was under all kinds of yokes and all of that. Then a day came when that spirit or that influence over my life was addressed by the power of God, comma, and then I subjected myself to a season to learn the ways of God and the Holy Ghost. The more I expanded my spiritual capacity, the more his potential, the richness of his anointing and his presence manifested through me. Now look at my life. I'm a testimony from here to here. I never want this place to just become a place of miracles. Ah, there's a service, so let's go. You'll be healed. You'll be blessed. I agree. But I, I disagree that you'll be sustainably blessed, sustainably healed, sustainably lifted, except that in addition to the prayer and that which you will receive tonight, you must contend for knowledge. This kingdom is knowledge-based and not any kind of knowledge. You are not at liberty to choose what you want to hear. No, there is a body of truth already allocated. You are not given the luxury of inventing what you want. It may not be comfortable to your, your status quo or whatever church or whatever teaches you. Listen, you must submit yourself to the whole counsel of God, not the one that looks pleasant to you, doctrinally speaking. If you want to stand balanced and to receive the victory, to walk in the fullness of the victorious life, then you must submit yourself to the body of truth allocated to bring you results imagine with me for instance that this were a student and then a lecturer is teaching and he says i don't like this course maybe a medical you're a doctor so imagine a very difficult medical course and then he's saying i don't like this one i like this one 
Now, you already know that this guy is in trouble. There is a reason why he's thought that, as uncomfortable as this. You have to love your future as a doctor more than the pain to settle down and say, I, I may not like it. It doesn't, I mean, who would want to touch a cadaver? Who would want to walk with a dead body? Who would want to keep giving people injections all around? I mean, these guys just inject people and do all kinds of things. Who would want to do that? But you have to do it. That's the only way the, uh, what the what's inside that? The um, drug will get into your body. There's no Bluetooth for it. It has to go directly. <laughs> Are we together? So, this guy may look cruel while he's giving you that injection. You have to choose health or to just have a temporal comfort. And you endure the thing and receive it for a few days. And after that, you are fine. This is it. It's amazing that the believers that choose what to believe, that means that, um, by, let me explain what I mean. The believers that sit down and select what to believe according to the comfort it provides are the people who don't have results. Isn't it funny? That believers who do not have results are the ones who sit down and choose and say, no, 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 no. Um, I don't like this. I like this. I don't like this. It's pride. The Bible says when you are ready to receive, there is a quality that is required. It's called meekness. That you receive with meekness the engrafted word. You must embrace the whole counsel of God to experience all of God. Are we learning? What I'm sharing with you is very powerful. This is what will give value to the prayers that we'll have. You know, Africa, we like prayer. And prayer is good. But visionless prayer that is not seen as one of the keys that connects to other keys will only continue to be a dissipation of energy, flattery in religion, and will never produce results. The value of prayer is in the role that it plays while other kingdom principles are kept prayer does not just work generically regardless of your obeying other principles is why we continue to dissipate spiritual energy and convince ourselves that based on the pain that comes in prayer god must be answering spiritual things are interconnected and the entire system must be healthy for you to experience all of God. If you choose a dimension and leave the rest. So we have people who are always praying. Always delivering something. Always casting out demons. Now please, I, I, I don't say it with, with, a, with a heart of sarcasm at all. Don't, don't find offense in any way. This way, you will never become a portrait of the victory of Christ. It will never truly happen. It was never supposed to be an endless pursuit forever. What then is the excellency of the finished work of Christ? Then on the other hand, we have those who continue to flatter themselves that just by default they are free. Oh boy. And their lives continue to show that this is not correct. When they are sick, they don't say Christ paid for my sickness. They go to the pharmacy and then they believe that every other thing is all right. The possibility of sickness, the possibility of defeat, no matter how temporal, is already a clue that victory is established in Christ from the prophetic standpoint. But it takes your engaging with God to make it manifest. And people stop here and continue to flatter themselves that they are free until they head to the grave. Are we together? I shall not die. You are deteriorating. No, no, God forbid. I know that I'm fine. You are going down. You are having all kinds of dreams and nightmares. You finish praying immediately and lie down. The spirit says, he's asleep now. Let's continue. And you get up and say, I didn't see anything. You are joking there. Until they kill you in the spirit and you wake up and die physically back again. There is something called the death of a fool. It is the death that comes as a result of assumption and pride and ignorance. We must embrace the whole counsel of Christ. If you did not prosper by default, then you will not stay healthy by default. 
you will not stay delivered by default it has to be engaged through growth they are stabilizers they provide the dimensions of your stability if you're with me say amen, amen. this is the second thing we must learn because I, I, I continue to get tired of believers again and again. It is this, if this kind of teaching does not come, the danger is that you, the man of God, who is always doing the deliverance, you are in trouble. Number one, you will be idolized. And that is not healthy for you. Are we together? Number two, you will be weary. Because even if you delegate someone and say, pray for them, they'll say, I've gone. You do your own prayer again. And you will continue. These people will wear you out. must know the truth and know it enough to set you free are we blessed I wrote something down here our spiritual efficiency as far as living in victory and advancing the cause of the kingdom is concerned will require specific knowledge of the ways the principles the methodologies of the kingdom praise the Lord I think there was a time a gentleman sent me a very funny text. I know that he was just a, I don't know if he was a, a, a male, female, or he just sent me a text and said, Apostle, God has called you to be an apostle to preach Christ crucified, not principles and not systems and strategies. I started interceding for the guy because his, his life will be a compendium of pain. I guarantee you. You see, time is a revealer. And it's terrible to carry so many people in your ignorance only to find out after many decades that you're in trouble. There is a dimension of Jesus called Jesus the way. Jesus the way. Jesus did not just say, I am life. He said, I am the way. A methodology. It is still Jesus. This man who was proposing that believed that for whatever reason that the teaching of the principles of the kingdom would veer people away from Christ if it's not taught with balance if it's taught as an end to itself and not a means to an end I didn't even reply I just felt I love the person who knows maybe the person is following today I just hope that the person has grown because this kind of copycat pride is what is responsible for the eventual pain of many people where a man of God will stand and not know what to believe again. Your ignorance has been represented in every dimension. And now you stand and wonder, what do I do? You must be men and women of conviction based on the truth of God's word. Listen, if you do not know the ways of God, the primary way that we know God is through scripture. The second way we know God is through the names of God. The third way we know God is through the person of Jesus. Jesus, the Bible calls him the, the, the express image of the invisible God. And the last way we know God is through experience. There are not many other ways. These are the ways allocated. And that from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture that is able to make you wise unto salvation. It takes wisdom to see the potentials of salvation in your life. It says that you draw with joy out of the wells of salvation. When you know God and encounter him, he will expose you to his ways. It is the knowledge of his ways that brings beauty and glory to your Christian life. Are we together? Two scriptures and then we'll pray. Thank you, Megan. Exodus chapter 6 to our business for the night now. Exodus chapter 6 from verse 6 to 7. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Wherefore, Say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. I will read you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you 
with a stretched out arm and with great judgments. Seven. And I will take you to me for a people and I will be to you a God and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. How do you know? By the mighty acts. There is an experience that I will give you that will cause you and validate to you again that I am the Lord your God which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. Psalm 34 and verse 19. Please look up. It is not the best of God that believers are challenged. However, it is also not unusual in the economy of God that believers are challenged. Listen very carefully. It, while it is true that it is not a, the best reflection of the Zoe life, if and when believers are challenged in any aspect of their life, it is the flawlessness, the dexterity, the ease of their lives show the multifaceted dimensions of God. However, because the treasure is in earthen vessels, it is also not unusual. Please listen carefully and deliver yourself from the ignorance that people continue to propose that make believers feel guilty for being challenged. God, in his dealings with men, knew that there will always be room here and there. Are we together? For the devil to seem to find a place and negate the reality of the victory of Christ. And so God allocated all kinds of systems so that if for any reason as a believer you find yourself in a predicament that is not consistent with what the Bible says should befit you when you are a partaker of eternal life, you don't feel bad. You can now begin to engage the systems allocated. Here's what the Bible says. Many are the afflictions, not of a man. Many are the afflictions of the righteous not a righteous the righteous many are the afflictions of the righteous not the affliction of sinners there is something called the affliction of the righteous now it doesn't really matter how it came the most important thing is that it is there and that there is a provision next um, it says but the Lord this is your advantage Many are the afflictions of an unbeliever, but he will remain there because he does not have the Lord as his anchor. But many are the afflictions of the righteous. The advantage of the righteous in affliction is that he has the Lord who can deliver him out of them all. Out of them all. So the embarrassment is not the challenge. Listen, believers. Stop allowing challenges to make you feel I'm not a Christian. Maybe it's because I did not pray. No, no, not at all. Not at all. The Bible tells us that many are the afflictions. So it is not unusual when your prayer request is almost a notebook. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. It says, but the Lord delivered him. So God is a deliverer. He delivers. He delivers him. What is deliverance? I've taught you. Deliverance doesn't just have to do with spirits. No. It's the parting away. Separation between you and the obstacles that impede your progress. It's called deliverance. The moment a platform is created where there is a separation between you and the influences that impede your progress. Be it demonic be it mental, be it physical, in whatever variation and fashion it comes. The Lord delivered him out of them all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. So it is possible that a pastor can have his children go haywire. And while that is happening, rent issues, financial issues, while that is happening, maybe his spiritual life is going down, while that is happening, and he sits and feels bad, and some ignorant believer comes and says, oh dear, it's just because you don't know God your life. No, no, the Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. But when you remain there, then you agree with that situation that the victory of Christ is a lie. 
that means when you find yourself in that situation the revelation of the fact that the lord can bring you out should not allow you to sit there comfort um, comfortable are we together don't find comfort in that situation you get up and begin to press the woman with the issue of blood knew she understood that she was a daughter of abraham the one who was took uh, you know bound she did not know but this one knew so she could not heal herself but she was already rehearsing oh jesus should come around this place as soon as jesus came she knew already she pressed and touched the helm of his garment never become comfortable when your life is yet to reflect the full potentials of that which comes with the life of god the victorious life your assignment as a believer is to continue to scan through every area of your life to give thanks over the areas that are now reflecting in experience and in reality the victory of christ but then to write down and begin to deal decisively with the areas that are yet to conform to the the reality of the victory of christ i love naaman the bible says naaman was the captain of the syrian army he says he was a very valiant man so in one aspect of his life he was doing exceptionally well then the bible says but he was leprous and I'm sure Naaman just said, oh, at least I'm a captain. It's all right. I can live my life like that. But a little slave girl came to plant dissatisfaction. She said, oh, that my Lord would listen to me paraphrasing. There is a prophet that you can go to in Israel and you go to that prophet and this other side of your life will also come and, you know, come under alignment. And he dragged himself there long story short at the end of it the bible says he became his body became as fresh as that of a child don't be ashamed of your challenges and your pain but don't be comfortable with them either you should be doing something praying about it reading about it there's there has if you are at ease when things are not going well it's a sign that you are not a serious believer it is true that you don't have the power as it were to, to minister healing to yourself but you should sit down and say look where do you know that god is moving where do you know this situation i may not have the power to change it but i know that this is not how a home should look like we are up today down tomorrow i have read in the bible that there is favor but i must sincerely admit that i have not seen it reflect in experience i will continue to confess favor i will never speak negatively but then i will partner with god in pursuit of the graces the places the dimensions that will make this become my experience that's how we walk in victory now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph are we together and so this this gentleman now he knows that this is what the bible has said about his life that you shall be the head and not the tail he's born again he's believed it but he's becoming the tail almost forever and then he goes to read there has to be something wrong he doesn't know what is wrong but his dissatisfaction is attracting the spirit of wisdom you see that now he does not know what to do but one thing he knows is that his life is not yet a reflection of the word of god listen my brothers and my sisters the excellency of your knowing god is tested when you insist that your life becomes a reflection that insistence is what the bible calls faith it is not the wishing your insistence to see to it i know i don't have a child now no problem I will not kill myself many are the afflictions so there's no embarrassment you can say whatever you want to say ah call me a barren well men are not bad, no. barren woman are we together impotent man whatever you want to call no problem however i've read in my bible that he can make the barren to become a joyful mother so i will not just conclude and say well god one day no 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 in your quietness you say lord just because i said thank you for my condition does not mean i will keep quiet i'm thanking you because the bible says listen the bible says in everything gives thanks is a law it has nothing to do with results i give thanks out of obedience but i insist out of faith 
please sit down and learn what will give value to our miracle service tonight so that you will walk out of this place enlightened these pockets of gaps and imbalances why believers continue to mock themselves you insist and your insistence is luring the spirit of wisdom did the Bible not say through desire, Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1, through desire, a man having separated himself, he says that he seeketh and intermeddled with all wisdom. As your desire begins to grow, there has to be a way. We can't be begging in this family. My father is a pastor, we are still begging. My mother is an intercessor, we are still begging. My brother is a banker, he's looking like a, like a, a farmer. He's looking like somebody who... who who just packs death on the road there has to be a way out i don't know the way but i know there is a way you see it now ah. oh, 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 oh. my lifting has come assignment listen your assignment as a believer is to keep looking at your life and looking at scripture and record what is not matching let that become your project no matter listen 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 in as much as you don't feel bad for where you are you also don't feel good for where you are you have to find a way of growing yourself into the dimension of you that becomes the full expression of the life and the power of God. So a believer who is at ease is a foolish believer because there is a lot of conformity to be done. You may be good in your prayer life, but your finances is, is rubbishing the other part of your, your Christian life. So you must stay and say, thank you Lord for the one I've seen, but show me the one I've not seen. That's why the Bible says meekness. Because you see, let me tell you this. When you have result in one area of your life, usually you would deceive yourself into believing that one result covers for everywhere. No, you have to approach every aspect of the kingdom life uniquely. That you are a prayer warrior doesn't mean you are prosperous. That you are prosperous does not mean you have character. You have to approach these dimensions per dimension. Until every one of it, and let me tell you this. The more you conform and receive results, the more Christ can be seen through you. People look at your life and they can see the completeness. They know that this is how a believer should look like. If you see me limping, I'm a human being. Human beings can limp. There is nothing to be ashamed of. The best. Are we together now? If you see me hungry and I'm not fasting, glory be to God, I'm still alive. But that's not God's best for me. Because if I'm hungry, continually I will die. Are we together? Hunger can kill. It doesn't kill in one day. But eventually. Poverty will not destroy you in one day. But you continue. The day your children can no longer go to school. You will be surprised at what you will do for money. It's true that you can say, look, we don't need a crowd. Even if it's five people, the most important thing is we are doing well. Excellent. After 10 years of five people, you will see whether you will remain in ministry or not. It is in the multitude of men that is a king's honor. Are we together? So tonight, listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. Tonight is a prayer of addition. Lord, thank you for this, but this area of my life, Lord, you've not visited it yet. And I'm, I'm, I give thanks. But I came for this miracle service. 
thanking you for the one you did March, April, but also admitting that my life is not yet in experience, a reflection of all that should be. Is someone ready to pray? Lift your voice in one minute and cry to the God of heaven. It is not unusual for believers to be afflicted. But to remain at ease in the presence of affliction is a sign of insensitivity and a sign that you do not know the counsel of God. Let God be true. Let God be true. And every man a liar. Let God be true. And every condition a liar. Please pray. We are still praying. Let God be true. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen. Listen. Please hear me. In fact, I will, I will media, if you can do a podcast of this charge uh, and put it separately, I think people will be blessed hearing it. This thing you just had is real deliverance for someone because it's explaining to you why the devil is not afraid of you. No fortification that comes through knowledge. Hear me please. Tonight is not a night to be ashamed. Lord, I thank you for this, but mention the areas that are not yet there and be sincere. Listen, let me tell you. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. The Bible says, as I hear you declare before my ears, not as you wish, there is nothing to be ashamed of. Are we together now? When you come before God, this is like a threshing floor. When you go to an injection room with the doctor, if they say turn and receive injection, you don't say, ah, doctor. No, 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 no. no. That's, that's not his business. The doctor is free. You are the one who is in trouble. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. Listen to me. If there is any aspect of your life that is not yet reflecting the reality of the Christ life, don't feel bad. Don't let it tear down what God has done. Give thanks for the one he has done. But release your faith and say, Lord, I know there is more. And I'm here tonight as a token of my insistence that my life must become a perfect reflection of all the possibilities that are resident in the Christ. Someone pray. Please lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Psalm thirty four and verse seventeen. Psalm thirty four and verse seventeen. God will only arise to separate you from the hindrances that impede your progress in life when you call. The righteous, the same righteous, many are the afflictions of the righteous. And the Lord delivers that righteous, but it does not come by default. That same righteous, the righteous must have to cry and say, Lord, I know that many are my afflictions. I give you thanks in pain, but bring me out of pain. Bring me out of pain. Lift your voice and cry. Please lift your voice and pray. Pray like a priest. Pray like one who is tired of this dimension. Separate me tonight, oh God. Separate me from the influences that impede my progress, that impede the fullness of my destiny in Christ. 
Genesis chapter 21 from verse 1 and 2. And the Lord visited Sarah as he said. There was a day he said it but did not do it. There was a day the prophecy was still in motion. Now the time came when what God said he now did. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Verse 2. And Sarah conceived. This is the proof that God visited her. Something happened in her life that did not happen before. Something happened in her destiny. There has to be proof of something today that was not there yesterday. Lord, visit me tonight. Lift your voice and cry for a visitation. Visit my church, visit my ministry, visit my finances, visit my spiritual life. Is someone pray? And the Lord visited Sarah. And the Lord did unto Sarah. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman. He 
said, tell Pharaoh, let my people go that they may go and serve me. They are not just going out for nothing. Tell Pharaoh, my people need to serve me, but this slavery is a distraction. Tell poverty, my people need to go, but if you don't let, they cannot serve me. Tell failure, tell delay, tell defeat. Hali parus kabaranta Tell a slow place of growth. Tell barrenness. There is a prophet who should have been born. You are stopping the generation from experiencing a prophet. Hallelujah. Now let me give you the last prayer point. Hallelujah. Listen. Anything that will give you the comfort to allow you to reveal Christ and focus on the agenda of God is God's business. The moment you bring his kingdom in the picture, let me tell you, whether you invite it on him or not, it is his business. The key to getting God's attention is to bring Christ into the picture. The moment Christ and the purposes of God is in the picture, God's attention is drawn. What is going on here? When David came to threaten the nation of Israel, it was not a threat. It was, it was not just a threat to a king. It was a threat to a covenant and the continuity of God's program. And he raised David. And David said, Goliath, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? When Haman was plotting to destroy the nation of Israel, God said to kill my people so the Messiah will not come. This is my business now. Let me tell you the truth. Your challenges will remain your business oh, until you bring Christ into the picture. Until you bring the agenda of God. Lord, give me peace so I can serve you. Give me speed so I can serve you. Increase so I can focus. Kabaritata. Shaliz Kabaru Zepediakata. Unto the God that doeth wonders. Lift me, O God, so the nations can see your name and your praise. Let the oil come upon my life. Let the anointing come on my destiny. Mention the area that must reflect Christ in your life. Thank you for this area. But Lord, I arise for this one. I place a demand by faith. I insist by faith. listen please listen to me I want you to be very sensitive the spirit of faith is strong in this place please listen we'll be very fast tonight the real revelation is what you have received now the prayer the miracles and this is something that just comes in one sweep this is the sustaining factor you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to your life because these are the things that are bought prophecy if you don't put them in place you are wasting your time it doesn't matter what comes please hear me whether you are outside following online please i want you to listen there is a god that doeth wonders and god can arise you see the thing with god is it is the process that takes time when the word comes, the word is quick, quick, quick. You came with all kinds of prayer requests 
and you think God will answer them moving one by one just one pronunciation and that's the end of it it's gone so we're going to be very very fast I I sensed please listen very carefully I'm going to pray for people but I sensed that one of the the major things that the Lord wants to do tonight is first the healing you see every time you see death death and infirmity go together are we together now so the healing that that healing grace we're trusting God that people who have come with all kinds of devilish oppressions but they must be free and then number two I will continue to pray this until I see it in your life I truly believe listen to me that there is a dimension of favor that the church not just individuals must shift into otherwise forget about the ease to serve the purposes of God this issue of God today money tomorrow God today argument final is, is, a, is, a, is a demonic thing you must press for these graces as we pray hallelujah father we have come again you are the God that doeth wonders the mighty God of heaven we honor you and we bless you thank you for deliverances thank you for healings. thank you for prophecies thank you for the manifestation of your power Lord, let tonight be a remarkable night. Shift people, shift people, shift people. Take away obstacles and hindrances from their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we're going, please listen, we're going to be very fast. I already see several manifestations of the angelic in this place now. Um, those of you who are coming here for the first time listen take away anxiety just relax there is a god who is mighty he will so shift your life in a way that will surprise you are we together now praise the lord thank you bring the lady under the anointing here the power of god is coming on one lady here we have to be very fast now just here i'm seeing a strong anointing of the holy ghost all our God, all our God, all our God, all our God, our God, all our God, all our God, I'm in a vision now and I'm seeing chains, people's feet with chains. And the Lord is saying, this is what has impeded people from making progress. You are moving, but you are not making progress. I'm about to pray for you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just help the usher so that we are very fast tonight. I'm seeing chains. I want to pray now. In the name that is above all names, I declare by the Spirit, Lord, that anyone here under the sound of my voice, in any of the overflows, inside and outside, bound by darkness, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, right now, be free. I cause those chains. I cause those chains. Please bring them out. I decree and declare. Overflow one. I'm seeing such... A mighty deliverance overflow one just overflow one I'm seeing the power of God come we have to be very fast but I'm praying now you're going to shout that name that is above all names listen this deliverance is not just for you alone some of you came and left your family members for years you are still in the same spot you love God but there is no progress I want to pray for you now at the count of three there's such a strong anointing in the name of Jesus, as you shout that name, that name that is above all names, I tell you, if God be God, then any chain holding you, 
and holding your family must give way father in the name of jesus let there be deliverance right now one two three shout jesus i cost those chains now in the name of jesus bring them out inside and outside i decree and declare be free now be free now be free now please quickly 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 let's have them outside ushers you should know that please so that we can hurry up and make progress Shalibros Kabaruda Shalakatos Kebriandash Alusha Brenda Gadish. We are still going to pray. I'm seeing fire. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it come on people, not just on chains, feet now. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, every overflow, those following online, this shout of the name of Jesus again. I'm seeing families, what looks like a door on that chains, it must leave right now. One. Two, three. I command every chain, the Paruta Shika Barakata, chain of darkness, tying down people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free now. I need a chain falling. I need the chains falling. I hear the chains. I need the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Hear me. The Bible says, "Now the Lord is that spirit. The Lord is that spirit." The same spirit that delivers, that heals, the Lord is that spirit, not another. It is the same Lord that gives salvation, that heals. The Lord is that spirit. Hallelujah. I want to rebuke barrenness. Now, first physical barrenness. But then this barrenness is more than just physical barrenness. A state of unproductivity. And as I pray this prayer, many ladies prophetically, the power of God will come upon you, not necessarily because you are barren, but women stand as gates in the realm of the spirit. And God uses them to signify the opening of gates. In the name that is above all names, I declare right now, even as the Lord is revealing to me, there are all kinds of barrenness in this place. Physical barrenness, financial barrenness spiritual barrenness I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost at the count of three right now that anointing is coming on people inside and outside those with physical barrenness issues God is stepping in right now and those with all kinds of related barrenness issues God is also stepping in at the count of three I declare it right now one two Three, let that power touch you right now. Shake I release you. I release you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you by prophecy. I release you. Enter a dimension of fruitfulness. I speak it to your life. I speak it to your business. I bless the word upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Madam, please stop this woman for me. Madam, please come. Your life is about to change. I don't know who this woman is. From the town. Come again, ma'am. From Sabo, from Sabo. From Sabo. I want to pray for you. Number one, please look at me, madam. 
the pain you experience at your back huh that back pain the lord is taking it away number amen. two amen. god is stepping into your family amen. i'm looking at your family and i'm seeing that amen. your family needs a real miracle this is this is an array of witchcraft and if we don't pray to take lives people will die like chickens but we're going to pray now i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing kogi state kogi state the power of god is coming upon kogi state right now right now i'm speaking the power of god it's a sign and a wonder how God does this, ladies and gentlemen. Kogi state. You see, for those of you who don't know, when God shows me that, the moment I mention the state, everyone who is part of that state, that anointing, will touch them. It's, it's a sign and a wonder. It's a grace. I declare right now, whether you know your state or not, I'm seeing that map and I send the word. I declare by the spirit, let that anointing, I'm seeing fire rising. Kogi state. I command liberty by the spirit of the living God. I command liberty by the power of the Holy Ghost that every planting that is not of God associated with that territory. I call for liberty now. Now by the spirit. Mama, Please let me pray for you. I'm going to pray for you, ma. And it will be like a dream. The way God will honor you and take away sorrow from your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our mother. Honor this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I declare over you in the name of Jesus. Let everything that looks like shame and reproach and sorrow over you and your family i cast it out of your life right now in the mighty name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ jennifer 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 i'm hearing the name jennifer we have to really jennifer Where are you from? Huh? I've seen this thing before and I've announced it in miracle service. There is something called Aleku. You, you understand what I'm saying? I'm seeing that name again. Where are you coming from? Where is she from? State. You are from Benway yes, State. Yes, we have Aleku there. What? Eh? Aleku. This is what I'm saying. Ah! I know you now. I command that devil ah! out of her life now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. See, listen, the Bible says, even the captives of the mighty, the lawful captives, shall be delivered. Every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it. Every challenge, relative to the grace that confronts it. My friend, this gentleman, tap him for me. Don't worry, let me talk with him. Look at me. The Lord is going to use you mightily. Huh? I'm stretching my hands now. I'm seeing an anointing coming on you. Number one, the grace for intercession. Amen. Number two, the teaching ministry. Amen. I decree and declare. Amen. May you step into that dimension Amen. in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I shift you by prophecy into that dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside, overflow one. The Lord is showing me an elderly woman. It's like you came with your daughter or something. You didn't come alone. Please, if there's such a woman, there come. I'm seeing the Lord is showing me a woman. You came together with your daughter. We have to hurry up because we're going to pray for the sick now. Mighty God. This young lady, look at me, my dear. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That's the end of it. I release you right now from everything that represents captivity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are you coming from, Mama? I'm from seeing Abuja. Hold on.
You came by road? Yes, sir. Kaduna, Abuja. Where do you stay? I stay in a... Where are you from? From part of Niger. It's Abuja? The... Yes. Like a boundary? Yes, sir. And that's where you are coming from? Yes. I want to pray for you. The spirit of death will live your life and your family. Amen. My dear, this is your daughter. Is that lady your daughter? Yes, sir. I'm going to pray because this lady as young as she's seen, God is going to use her. There is a grace for favor that is on this lady. You see. Favor. Favor. That's your name. No, it's not like I'm doing an impartation. Huh? Your name is what? What's her name? Favor. Hear me, my dear. The Lord is going to turn your life. You see this lady like this? Don't worry about what you are eating or not eating. You hear what I'm saying? This lady, God is going to honor her. The first miracle God is going to do to your daughter is in her brain. Amen. Because this has been your prayer. Eh? Yes, sir. She's yes, not sir. doing very well in At school. All. This, listen now, let me talk to you. This lady is not a bad lady. She loves, she's a serious lady and a very good and disciplined lady. But this is an attack. I will pray for her. She will go back and you will marvel and wonder at what will happen to this lady. My dear, come, favor. Don't cry, eh? You came for miracle service. Father, the Bible declares that the memory of the just is blessed. I bless your mind. Understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. A family of four ladies, the chain of marital delay is breaking now. No, 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 it's, it's not everybody. I'm, I'm praying that this is an exact prayer to someone right now. I'm seeing, I, I just held this lady and the Lord showed me four, one, two, three, four ladies. By the power of, please, why are they, don't, please don't bring people out that have not called, please. Why are they here? Huh? Where is she from? Overflow one. Okay, this is your daughter. Come, Mama. Where are you from? Where are you coming from? We are from Quarter Two, sir. You are from Quarter Two. Quarter Two. Yes, sir. I have to pray for you. There's somebody here. When it's time to pray, please, no matter what overflow you are in, um, I want to pray for you by myself. When they look at you, they will think you are pregnant, like very evidently pregnant but you are not pregnant this is i don't know what this is this thing is just protruding like this the power of god is coming on that person and that that demonic thing i curse it by the god of heaven he must let you go now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus mama can i pray for you in the name of jesus i'm praying for you ma that everything that wants to cut short your life number one i come against it in the name of jesus and then number two i'm praying for you it's time for you to reap from the fruit of your labor in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ who is this why is she here okay jennifer what's wrong with her huh she's not feeling fine Okay, we'll, we'll pray for the sick. Ah, we have to pray. Oh. Is she mad? No, no. She's just not. Okay. It's, it's before that she was mad, but now it's not like that. She was mad before. Yes. When uh, it has been now uh, one, let's say eight months. Okay. When she came here, so she cannot talk and uh, other like that. She used to. This, this means all the, when she's talking, so she no talk normally. Okay, we'll pray. We're going to minister to the sick. We have to, if not, we'll, we'll take all the night here. But we'll pray for her. Can she hear me? My dear, how are you? You can hear me? Yes. I will pray for you, eh? And Jesus will heal you. Because I'm already seeing this lady inside a coffin. With what I'm seeing, this lady will not cross this year. They will just say, survive by. But there is a God in heaven. Awesome. Hallelujah. We have to pray. I hope they are not just coming out at random. Do we have? Huh? 
I didn't ask them to come out. I said, protocol, you, we should be able to work with the people so that we don't have... You are the one, come. Where are you from? Paladan. Paladan. Yes. Place your hand on your stomach. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Have you gone to the hospital? Yes, I have done many scans. What did they tell you is there? Nothing. Nothing. And yet the stomach is growing and you are not pregnant. Yes. Are you married? About to, sir. About to marry. Is your husband here? Yes, sir. Husband, come. Where is he? The Lord wants to save a big, major marital problem now. Husband, sir, come. Thank you. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. We love you. God just wants to save you. Very little things like this can tear marriage, not into two, into pieces. And want to, want to help them. Where are you coming from, sir? From Samaria. What are you trusting God for? Healing, sir. And God provision for the word. Healing and God provision. Provision? Yes, sir. Uh, are you working? No, sir. Did you apply for a job? Yeah, I've been applying, sir. Because I'm looking, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing a letter. This is why I'm, I'm saying, I don't know. We're going to pray. This is your first time here? No, I've been coming. Okay, been, okay. I will pray for your wife first. Eh? If not, um, I hope I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom, eh? but God is trying to save you from what will make you hate someone you are loving so much now. My dear, you love Jesus. Put your hand there. In the name of Jesus Christ. You, you see how this kind of demonic things are. The stomach is protruding and the machine is not even saying there's fibroid or something. At least if it says there's something, you know what to remove. The machine is showing that this woman is perfectly healthy, yet her stomach is protruding. If you don't understand now, you can put this innocent brother in trouble. You understand what I'm saying? You see how the devil works? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare now. Watch the power of God. Ah, the power of God. Oh. This, let me tell you, the anointing is very powerful. It's not for showmanship. It's like a drug. Just enters your system and it will rubbish anything that is not God. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not waste even if it's one day to be pregnant when it's time. I'm saying this by the Spirit of God. And this, I'm seeing like a black band tied around your stomach. I lose it right now. And I release you. I set you free from this. In the name of Jesus. My friend, I pray for you. Look at me, sir. You believe in Jesus? The budget I'm seeing is very much. You have not even gone, you have not gone near halfway the budget. Eh? Don't be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassing you. You need a real miracle. This one is not just a destiny helper. You need a miracle. Because with what I'm seeing that you wrote as a budget, Kai. When is the wedding? Um, 12th October. 12th of October. God is faithful, eh? I will pray with you. The prophetic dimension of wealth. Truly there is. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. Surprise this, my dear brother. More than enough for your wedding in the name of jesus christ and i declare be healed right now be healed completely in the name of jesus be healed completely your name is jennifer okay i'll pray with you come i'll just lay hands on you all this jennifer i'll just lay hands i'm not getting any hold her collect the child please father in the name of jesus christ take away this reproach that I see in this family in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that the Lord is giving you a new beginning in Jesus name please come quickly in the name of Jesus come my dear may the Lord bless you and honor you come reproach is taken from your life in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming on one ushering lady it's an ushering lady I'm seeing a mighty deliverance. Reproach is living right now by the Spirit, whether inside or outside. I'm seeing one ocean lady. The power of God is coming upon her. Father, in the name of Jesus, let that miracle take away reproach 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Take away reproach. You are Jennifer. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, my dear. My dear, hold her hands, two of you. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Because both of you need the same miracle. And God is giving you that miracle. He's terminating shame completely from your life. There is, I'm seeing a man here. You are a pastor. I know there are many pastors, I can presume. But who is a pastor here? Sir, please come. You are a pastor where, sir? Come again. I'm seeing, what do you have? I'm, I can't get, let him come. I'm seeing you. You came from where, sir? Benin. Benin. I want to pray for you. Have your church. I want to pray for you. Please stand up, sir. Stand up. You are going to write a book. The Lord is going to anoint you and you will write a book. God will use that book to bless the body and honor you too. It's a grace that I'm praying for you. Number two, sir, I'm seeing the Lord strengthening your understanding. There's a teaching grace that God is releasing upon you. I don't know you and I'm praying for you. And then I'm praying for you. You will see the miraculous in a very strange way. You may not lay hands on people like this, but the spoken word, as you are speaking, you will see God begin to honor you and things begin to happen. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus, I release you into these dimensions in the spirit. And everything that has been said, I command that it must come to pass for you by the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is releasing speed. Now, please hear this. I want to pray. I know that I always pray for this, but I'm about to pray right now. There is a very strong anointing and it's coming on people inside and outside. There are people who have compassed certain realms. God wants to shift them. Please help them. As that anointing comes, sometimes they are going to begin to run by the Spirit. Just run like this, inside or outside. Father, I'm the... Ah, my God. I decree and declare right now by the Spirit of God the grace that brings speed 10 years in one 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 by the spirit of the living god i command speed for you 10 years in one in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare speed over your life in the mighty name of Jesus I declare it you are not wasting your time you are receiving speed in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you are a pastor come it's time to enter a new dimension step into a new level of grace I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost signs and wonders through your hands in the name of Jesus I shift you into a new realm in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing the anointing of the Holy Spirit going to the media stand just that media stand I'm seeing and it's still the same grace for speed I'm seeing media stand I'm seeing that grace there are people entering strange realms of speed that God is bringing. I release you by this word of prophecy. Step into that dimension. In the name of Jesus, no power in existence will stop you. Hallelujah. My dear, come. This lady on red. Come, quickly, please. I'm seeing you laughing in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is saying I shall release you to your seasons of laughter. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over you and I declare whatever must happen in your life for laughter to break out. I'm declaring to you in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Let it happen to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are two ladies and three gentlemen. The real grace for the prophetic. The prophetic. I will do an impartation by the end of the service. But two ladies and three men. A real grace, real grace, the eyes, the eyes to see. I quicken that grace, quicken that anointing by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Grace. Please don't think we are wasting our time. We are going to pray for the sick. My dear, come. This lady, God is visiting your family. Come and stand here. Where are your people? Where do they stay? Samaru. In Samaru here. Let me tell you, the month of September is a strange month of lifting for your family. You believe that? Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. See, let me teach you something. You see, the word of God is very powerful. Believe it. Believe it. Don't, don't sit arguing and saying, will God touch me? Will it change my life? No. God will more than surprise you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for this lady. And I decree and declare. the Lord grant you this miracle in the name of Jesus. The Lord is touching someone at overflow 2. Overflow 2. And the Lord is saying he's taking reproach away. Taking reproach. I'm seeing the power of God come upon someone. Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus Christ. Overflow 2. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. But I'm seeing... Wow. Usually, I would, not, I would not be the person to talk about these things. But when God does it, uh, we, are, we, we serve his purposes. I'm seeing a grace for miracle alert. This is why I kept quiet. Because... You will be surprised. That means you will see a lot inside a lot of monies. There was no transaction to have necessitated it. Now, God does not do this to sponsor laziness, but it's a prophetic dimension. This is what I just saw. I declare by the Spirit of God, Father, every once and again you do this in this house to bring glory to your name. I pray by the Spirit of the living God right now, in the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. For many of us, what will come upon you will, will take away financial pain, financial shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, what do you do? Come, this man, this. What do you do? A businessman, sir. A businessman. Where? In Dandume, sir. Come again. Dandume, Dandume, Katsina State. Katsina State. Yes. I want to pray for you. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. Don't let anybody, don't be embarrassed, eh? Don't let anybody tell you to do anything diabolic for business favor. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. I yes, hope you're not embarrassed. Yes, sir. That, don't let anybody tell you that this is what he did that worked. And you too, you should do it and customers will come. It's not true. Listen, let me tell you, Paul can plant, Apollo can water. It's only God that brings increase. I want to pray for you. Father, what's your name? Sunday. Naemeka. What's that? Is there a name like that? Naemeka. 
Emeka. I'm hearing that name. I will pray for you, sir. But the Lord is bringing, I'm seeing the Lord bring a very strange miracle to the person with that name. In the name of Jesus, I take away stagnation from your business. I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit into abundance and into plenty. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing the hand of God coming on several people for ministry. But listen now, this doesn't mean that you just get up and go and start doing ministry, but the call of God has been lingering on your life and it's time to answer that call. I'm stretching my hands. Lord, I don't know where these people are. Overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, online in the main auditorium here father anyone that your call up is upon his or her life i'm praying oh god confirm that call right now and let them know that it's not just their imagination i declare by the anointing and by the spirit of god draw them into their various callings into the various mantles the trainings the seasons that they must enter in the realm of the spirit to become mighty men and women of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's your name? Okay, I'll pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may God grant you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, huh? I take away everything in your mind that will stop you from being productive I shift you to experience the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah we'll pray for the sick now but I'm seeing a ring in the spirit enter the hand of a lady and then the ring breaks almost immediately now you know that this is already it may be symbolic of marriage but a disastrous thing happening that just scatters it father in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is, but I'm praying right now that anything that will push you into marriage to only last months old, in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing an anointing, my God. Come for direction especially geographic direction the Lord is showing me that there are people who came here praying they don't know exactly where to be based this is this this sounds funny but the Lord there is an anointing that is coming giving you clear direction in dreams visions prophetic intuitions some of you are saying Lord should I stay should I go should I travel should I stay in the country out of the country i'm praying right now the grace for accurate direction in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you we're going to pray for the sick now and all kinds of situations that don't represent the counsel of God we have to pray and trust God we're going to do this very 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 fast I keep seeing something in this front row just these people in front I kept ignoring it but I don't know what I'm seeing I'm seeing something that God is showing me everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was true restoration shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen there is somebody here the Lord is bringing an anointing into your life you are getting into oil listen, listen I'm serious now please listen to what I'm saying this can be a life and death prayer you see 
this spirit of death that is just sweeping around killing people like chickens all around someone will just say headache and fall down and die i pray for you in the name of jesus christ i forbid the earth from receiving your body i forbid the earth from receiving your body and i declare every spirit of kidnapping whether in zaria here kaduna that would just allow wicked people to come and kidnap innocent people we we cause that spirit and we bring the perpetrators under judgment two more prayer points were done the dimension of the demonstration of the spirit signs wonders miracles the gifts of the spirit i call that dimension whatever dimension is missing in your life i speak to you please hear me especially if you are in ministry right now and here tonight step into that dimension dreams visions the prophetic the gifts of the spirit being activated in the name of jesus christ I pray for everyone who is weary. You are tired. Life has just wrestled with your spiritual fervency. And it's as though you are about to give up. It's like the grace to continue is not there. By the Spirit of God, I supply fresh fire for the journey. Every leader here, whether a campus leader, prayer group leader, Bible study leader, church pastor, whatever kind of group, I pray for you. The dimension of grace that will keep the fire in your groups, your fellowship burning, I supply that grace upon you now. We prophesy over Zaria. We speak to the spiritual borders of this city to fight anyone coming into this city to cause trouble or cause confusion in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you every request and every issue that was the reason why you came here I agree with you in the name of Jesus that the next time you come here it will be to testify Jesus and any man who says over his dead body for you to rise may their prayer be answered this night thank you Jesus let me pray the last prayer of restoration I just sense it in my spirit whatever has left your life that should not have left whether it's money you lost money you lost friends, you lost valuable relationships. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the Spirit of God, I call it back into your life now. I call it back into your life now. Praise the Lord.
Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you because you are the Lamb upon the throne. And the Bible says, if I be lifted, I will draw all men to myself. Tonight we pray that you be lifted in the midst of your people. Thank you because of the mighty things you will do in this place. We give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I welcome everyone. This is our March Miracle Service. We thank God for what he's going to be doing. Can you celebrate Jesus? Hallelujah. We specially appreciate all those who have taken the time to come from various places outside of this city. We honor you. We love you. God bless you. You will never be disappointed. There are many families here. There are many people who have come from different places. Praise the Lord. The Lord will surely visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. The church of God is a victorious church hallelujah please listen i just want to build on something small and then we'll pray the church of the lord jesus christ the church that jesus birthed is not some weak and beggarly religious church that just exists to keep scrounging and walking as if jesus told us a lie how many of you believe that this bible is real how many of you believe that this Bible is the truth? How many of you believe that Jesus died? You must believe it. The Bible says he that comes to God must believe. Hallelujah. I thank God for a platform like Koinonia and I honor the Lord with no bias because it is a prophetic place where the demonstration of the reality of the kingdom is made manifest i will never want to represent a god who is powerless hallelujah why should i stand and tell people that jesus died and i was not there and there is no way to prove it when jesus died on the cross he said it is finished and all the powers of hell heard him hallelujah lots of people teach about jesus being victorious we write books about the victory of Jesus. We write books and, and we preach all kinds of messages about the glory of God. Hallelujah. But there are very few people who can become envoys of the demonstration of the reality of this glory. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Our God is a powerful God. Don't let your circumstances rise to a point where they diminish the power of God. My God is mighty. That's why we sang that song. He's a savior that can move mountains. Hallelujah. Jesus left us a powerful gospel. Jesus left us a victorious life. Jesus did not die to just bring some average people who are under the mercy of Satan. Can I tell you something? Satan is not the opposite of Jesus. I've said this thing again and again. Because the theology that many people have been taught in church is that Satan is touch not. Don't touch him, he won't touch you. Who told you? Hallelujah. There are all kinds of cold ministries and churches who make many members sit down and wonder they read what the bible says here the bible says verily verily i say unto you he that believeth in me the works that i do he shall also do he said and greater works we've preached all versions of what we believe to be greater works hallelujah jesus defeated satan he defeated hell and the grave and he rose again but many people say amen but our life is not stamping that amen hallelujah and there are many of us preachers that claim we are called we even claim we are anointed do you know what the anointing is the anointing is not something that throws people on the floor 
if that's all the anointing does, then we took hurricane is also anointing. Are you getting my point now? The anointing is God's ability to do work. The same power that created the universe. Hallelujah. That's the power that can quench the voice of every evil. Listen, let me tell you something. It's so sad that even in the body of Christ today, when people are delivered from the hand of darkness, hallelujah, they are criticized and people say, deliverance is over. Are you joking? The hallmark of the demonstration of the authority is the displacement of darkness by light. Praise the Lord. There are many people who go to church every Sunday, every Monday, every Tuesday. We sit down there and the devil is tying many destinies down. And the preacher comes with his manuscript and comes to recite all kinds of poems. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. The Lord left us a church of power. He left us a church of authority. Are you getting my point? And let me tell you something. We have no right to stop people from going to herbalists and witch doctors until the church becomes a place of light where people can come genuinely. We are very quick to criticize people and say, why did you go to the herbalist? Why did you go to this and that and that? But let me tell you something. If the church cannot solve the problem of people, they will keep going to every harbor is possible. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because people are desperate for a solution. It's easy for us to sit down as men of God with our suit and ties and all the protocols around. And there are people who are, there are some of you right now, in this place, your issue is a matter of life and death. Your sickness is a terminal disease. You may just be laughing but you know that you have, they've given you the range of time to live. There are people who have traveled risking themselves on the road. Will they just come and sit down and watch a man on suit and watch nicely dressed people? Are you joking? The church of the Lord Jesus Christ has become so powerless with men of God bragging all around Yet there are demons and principalities. There are all kinds of things tying the lives of people down. And we preach all kinds of message to explain away responsibility. The God that saved me is a powerful God. The God that anointed me is a powerful God. And the last time I checked my Bible, I never saw Satan arguing with God. Are you getting what I'm saying? The Bible tells us that he entered a city and he, when he entered a city, it was noise. Let's go to our Bibles. Ah, my body is itching me to do something for the devil this night. Mark 1. I believe in the power of God. Oh. I believe in the power of God. Someone said, I don't believe in healing. I said, no problem. The day the doctors cannot help you, you will believe surely or the day your brother or sister is diagnosed with something that the doctors cannot cure you will believe that miracles are real there are people even maybe some of you sitting down right now you don't even believe that miracles are real you are welcome hallelujah it's sad that we live in a generation where men of god fake miracles they call somebody to sit on a wheelchair and then they say stand up and he stands up and nigerian films have been they have received a recent baptism from the devil to mock men of god hallelujah and they act all kinds of films and the man of god is casting the devil and the devil will turn and slap the man of god and then the man of god will be paralyzed these kinds of teachings and they scorn men of god let me tell you something not everybody is fake there are people who have met God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
and all this mockery that they mock men of God and make them powerless. And you see a man praying and the demons are around. They are even dancing and rejoicing. Choking. Except where the, the Bible says the light shines in the darkness. And it says the darkness not only lives but it cannot comprehend it. Hallelujah. Mark. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mark 1 verse 21. Let me just read a few scriptures to let us know that this kingdom is a kingdom of power. This kingdom is a kingdom of grace. It's a kingdom of strength. Don't sit helpless as though Satan cannot bow. Let me tell you something. He can bow. We have watched a lot of witchcraft activities. We have seen so many things in our families. And because of that, many people have come to believe that nothing can be done. We've stayed around a lot of unbelief. Verse 21. And they went to Capernaum and straight away on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and taught. 22. And they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one with authority and not as the scribes. 23. And there was in their synagogue a man who had what? An unclean spirit. And when Jesus entered, the unclean spirit cried out. 24. Saying, let us alone. I mean, Jesus shows up in a synagogue and a man is sitting quietly. And the light and power that emanates from him compels those demons to say, leave us alone. This is in your Bible. Christians, this is in your Bible. He said, what have we to do with thee? Thou Jesus of Nazareth. You now see why he told Paul, Jesus we know. Had thou come to destroy us, I know thee who thou art. The Holy One of God. 25. And Jesus rebuked him saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. Verse 26. And when the unclean spirit had turned him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. 27. And they were all amazed. You know why? Because until the New Testament, they didn't cast out demons. They isolated those who had demons and stoned them at times. Are you getting my point? Because they did not have that ability. So when they saw this happen, that a man can speak, this was a demonstration of the superiority of the kingdom of our God. He said, they were amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying, what thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits. And they, and they, did the Bible say they, they argued? But the kind of church that we are marketing to believers today is the kind of church where believers argue. We, we argue and you tell people be healed and the devil just sits there and all kinds of people come to church year after year and after year and nothing changes in their lives. This is Jesus. I'm telling you Jesus inspires me. Goodness. Read verse 32. Jesus inspires me. Sometimes when I begin to read the Bible I just begin to cry. I say, what manner of man? What manner of man? 32. And when it was evening, when the sun did set, they brought to him how many? All that were diseased. They knew he was going to heal them. Pastors, do the members of our churches know we can heal them? Do they know? People just argue and say, me, I don't have the healing ministry. I just, my own is just to teach. We find the aspect that is easy and we capitalize on it. Show me who had the healing ministry in the Bible. They brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were what? Possessed with devils. What did he do? And all the city, Kabbalah, Satabaya. 
all the city came and gathered in front of the door because they were desperate for solution hear me brothers and sisters the world is still desperate for solution and they will do anything and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him hallelujah 35 and in the morning rising up a great while before day he went out and departed into a solitary place listen because he had this ability to heal and deliver he ran just to go and pray and let's see what happened 36 and simon and they that were with him followed after him 37 and when they had found him they said what unto him all men seek for thee why do they seek for thee many preachers think members come to church because they love them you better stop dreaming these people love themselves and they have problems if you cannot solve their problems get ready to be frustrated in ministry so if a herbalist can do what a pastor should do your members will come to church on sunday immediately after the grace they will take their honorarium and all their empty bottles and whatever and race down to go and meet a herbalist that they think they can seek for and try to look for power if peradventure the problem can be solved but brothers and sisters i bring you a message tonight there is a god that is alive jesus is alive say it one more time jesus is alive say it again jesus is alive we talk so much about the glory of god we want to see your glory oh god show us your glory and i always ask what is the glory of god what is the glory of god when we say lord reveal your glory in the midst of your people when we say bring revival what exactly are we talking about gold dust sparks of light when we ask him to reveal his glory let me tell you what the revelation of the glory is john 1 sorry chapter 2 chapter 2 verse 11 let's see what the bible says john 2 verse 11 is projected can we read together one to read this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory hold on how did he manifest his glory how did he manifest his glory by the demonstration of miracles signs and wonders when he did things that astonished them the revelation of the kingdom of god the bible says as a result his disciples believed on him that means when the glory is truly revealed it makes men believe in the name of the lord john the baptist was caught and he was there in prison and he got angry and the bible says when he heard about the things that jesus was doing he sent he said they should go and ask jesus art thou the christ in other words are you the anointed one or should we expect another jesus did not answer he said go and tell him the things that you see and hear the blind see the lame walk the deaf their ears are open the dead are raised this is the manifestation of the kingdom if your family comes today and they come and receive breakthroughs and all kinds of cancers and tumors and demonic things leave them let me tell you something they will believe in the name of the lord it's very difficult to resist the power of god when you see it in action hallelujah it's very very difficult the lord wants us to believe in him while i was coming i saw something around the market i think i was going to pz in the afternoon and i saw somebody that gathered people around people just gathered you know all these men that tried to do all kinds of things no invitation and the people gathered 
and I said this God's own version will happen this night hallelujah I believe in him he didn't leave us a weak and beggarly gospel he left us a gospel of power that can be demonstrated here and now everybody say the power of God is real and can be demonstrated here and now so I bring you a word of encouragement especially for those of us who have come from different places by the grace of God with all humility I assure you that this is not just a place you come around to just laugh and feel good and go something will change in your life because Jesus is alive and we believe him we believe him a man approved of God with miracles signs and wonders God has approved of us with miracles and signs and wonders and tonight let me tell you we are here to put an end to the activities of wickedness hallelujah there are many of us who are seated right here especially for those of us who are just coming here someone sent me a text I think as early as two or three this morning a lady and she said she woke up and she had a very terrible dream and in the dream another woman was molesting her and all kinds of things she said and this thing has happened again and again you go and meet an average preacher he says oh you don't have faith if you had faith the person would not come are you joking <laughs> whereas the preachers too are suffering their own demons oppressed me for many years i was healing the sick and casting out devils i was still being oppressed by demon spirits my own is not like a dream i saw it so it's, it's not like somebody is preaching a gospel another gospel i have experienced it i know that demons don't respect title there is only one language that commands respect in the spirit they can call you apostle they can call you whatever you want to be called no matter how mad a madman is he never enters fire by mistake he can carry something that doesn't belong they say i'll leave him he's mad but as mad as he is when he sees fire he will turn back the bible says he maketh his angels spirits and his ministers flames hallelujah no matter how mad a man is pastor he doesn't enter fire because in his madness he knows what fire can do hallelujah and the bible says how all inspiring are your ways it says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves i saw the devil jeopardize my family I knew where my father came from and I saw the activities of witchcraft and wickedness that happened. A lot of preachers preached me into believing everything was alright. But I knew that it is true that Christ died on the cross. But I knew that. See, let me tell you. Look up, please. Knowing what Jesus has done is not revelation. It is knowing what you need to do to make it a reality that is revelation many people have knowledge let me tell you, i preached somewhere you can get the message and i said the key to accessing the glory and demonstrating the reality of the kingdom is not knowledge is understanding understanding tells you how to make something real here and now The day I caught a revelation and a light in my spirit, I ran home. I ran home and I stood in front of my door and I said, the demons that oppress me, I beg you, please come. This is not just some jamboree that we do in church. I knew it entered me. And let me assure you, ask the devil till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. But I never knew it was real. I prayed. I fasted. 
seven days fasting at the end of that fasting they will come and oppress me let me tell you i prayed i fasted just like many of you have been fasting but there are laws in this kingdom things don't just happen because you are born again are you listening to me there are families that have come mama let me tell you god is going to visit you as i'm standing here i'm already seeing oppression this is you being tied tied this is what i'm seeing do you know a man can be walking physically but spiritually he's in prison go and read your bible he said to open the doors of the prison the people did not know they are in prison physically you are walking physically you are moving someone lives abroad and just comes back to remain in the village they say my brother why did you come back he said me too i don't know i'm not ashamed of the gospel many of you are, many of you don't know why paul said i am not ashamed if you understand the gospel very well it takes courage to preach it because it's not attractive so paul said i am not ashamed of every aspect of the gospel that must be taught hallelujah we have seen all kinds of oppressions all kinds of things i've shared with you in this place a woman who came for counseling every time when she sleeps she sees monkeys coming to molest her and she had stillbirth at uh, the teaching hospital in shika and um, not shika the other one in P in uh, pz you know that one there in sabo and she gave birth to half man half monkey dead physically how do you explain this look let me tell you come to terms with the fact that this world is a wicked world are you getting me if you get this thing this is deliverance for you this night because you will stop listening to many messages that don't make sense at once you will know that if you do not arise and stamp the devil where he belongs he will eat you up as if jesus did not die hallelujah i believe in the power of god i am convinced that every believer should be a threat to the kingdom of darkness i prayed for some ladies i think you were there kenny some ladies that came and i prayed for them one of the ladies she had not slept for a long time because these demons come to oppress her she can't sleep when i prayed for her i casted out that devil of darkness there and then it was less than 10 seconds she started sleeping you see what is killing some of our parents they hold their drugs on their hands but the sleep will not come the bible says he giveth his beloved sleep and if the devil argues with that you prove to him that you know what you are saying let me tell you brothers and sisters god has never had cause to rise up from his throne but there was still war in heaven for satan to leave heaven there had to be war to live what do you think will make satan just live freely in your life if there was war to get satan out of heaven he said there was war in heaven is that not true it was on account of that war satan was cast down i write to you my son timothy that ye wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been given unto you he didn't say carry the warfare is not this madness we do around the warfare is having an understanding of what your role is in making the word of god become a reality and brothers and sisters i bring you good news we have fasted for today we have prayed for today the all the departments and workers have prayed we have prayed and i assure you the devil will let you go tonight if you are interested if you are if you are not interested there are other miracle service services that are coming but tonight if you are tired you can tell the devil is over there are families that have been tied down there are some of our fathers they are not doing their responsibilities as men and you think it's just like that nothing just happens nothing just happens are you hearing me nothing just happens satan knows that jesus has died satan knows that he's given the church the victory but he also knows that we are lacking in understanding 
and we must keep contending. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of liberty. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of healing. It's my night of deliverance. It's my night of breakthrough. It's my night of restoration. Let me talk about marriage a little. Because we are going to confront that thing this night. There are many people. If the power of God does not step into your life, you will never marry. I don't care what you rob. Foundation, the next one after it, whatever it is. Because the problem is not your physical appearance. There are powers that tie men down. The Bible says he told, he said, what seest thou? Zechariah 1 verse 18. He said four horns. These horns have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Israel against jerusalem so that no man will lift up his head say but i have sent carpenters i have sent carpenters we are going to pray let me preach to everyone here that marriage is the will of god are you hearing me marriage is what absolutely the devil knows what marriage can do if marriage did not affect Satan, he will not fight it. Are you getting my point? Sister, the devil knows why he's fighting to make sure your husband does not come. But this night, this night, the Bible says at a prophetic word, bones that never saw each other for a long time started relocating till they came. There is a husband for you. Don't let statistics deceive you. Whether it is 10 men, 10 women to one man is none of your business. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says you shall not call what they call conspiracy, conspiracy. He said when men shall say there is a casting down, what is your testimony? There is a lifting up. Many ladies are afraid now to an extent that people are just becoming desperate. He said, do you know there are no husbands? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you there are no husbands? My God will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to address issues. It's a miracle service. It's not a healing service. Miracles are more than healing. There are many of us here, we are not sick. But our family needs divine intervention quick. Financially and otherwise. There are many of us, everybody in your family is a graduate but nobody is working. Everywhere you go, they drive you. Some of us even went abroad. You went abroad, you came back, and you are looking as if you never went to school. That devil must bow this night. Hallelujah. And for those of us who have been told by the doctors that nothing can be done about your situation, I bring you good news. There is a way out. Soon as I yes. One day I feed you can soon I soon as I yes. One day I feed you can soon I soon as I yes. One day I feed you can soon I yes. Soon as I For some of us, it's academic bondage. People keep mocking you. They think you are lazy. You are reading all you can read. You are doing everything. But there are horns that have vowed that you will not arise. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are horns that, you are, that have vowed that as far as admission is concerned, you won't get it. Or as far as this is concerned, they mark scripts. When it's time to mark your own, they forget it. Come on now. Don't tell me that's a coincidence. When you know the realm of the spirit, you know things do not just happen. Hallelujah. 
a lecturer just looks at you and vows to punish you in that department what did you do i just hate you what kind of what kind of nonsense is that that's a spirit speaking through that person hallelujah and there are people here who have been trusting god for the fruit of the womb at least I know that I got two text messages by some people. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And he opened the womb of Rachel. God can open wombs. I don't care what they say is there. How many of you have seen a bulldozer trying to throw something down? Whatever stands its way, it clears it. Whether it's called fibroid, whether it clears it away. This is the God I serve. Hallelujah. Some of us have been giving all kinds of reports and they've said you may never be able to have a child. Even if they remove your womb, you will give birth. Hallelujah. Mary said, be it unto me according to your word. Her stomach started growing. Be it unto me. When Joseph saw her stomach growing, he said, I will divorce you. I have no business with what is happening. And the angel said, what are you saying? Keep this woman for that which is in her. How it entered the word of God. He says, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Shortly we will rise up and pray for five minutes. And that prayer is aimed at steering anger in you. To say, Lord, I'm not going to go back the same. Hallelujah. You know, Many of us hear words like this, but the impetus to make it our word, that's what we lack. So you can rejoice over other people. Hallelujah. You must get angry and say, Lord, as you're visiting men this night, I'm holding on to you like the woman with the issue of blood. Let people call me unclean, no problem. That's why I'm here. Are you getting my point? You must get angry especially for those there are so many people you could not get seats you can't just be standing outside and then at the end of it you just go back and say i didn't get seat say lord as a reward for this standing the devil must bow hallelujah jesus wants his glory to be revealed and let me tell you something all things are possible Say it after me, all things are possible. The Bible says Jesus healed them all. It didn't say he healed some. It didn't say he healed the, the ones that could be resolved. Then the ones that have gotten so bad he could not do anything. The Bible says he healed them all. That means he delivered them all. Hallelujah. And some of us here are standing in for our family members. You know that we care about family here. We are convinced in this place that if your family does not experience what you call salvation, your Christianity is not yet complete. He said, as for me and what? He didn't say as for me and myself. As for me and my house. It's not enough for you to receive breakthrough when there are people in your house who have not experienced that. They must be open. To this reality of the revelation of the power of God. Isaiah 61. Arise, shine. Isaiah 61. Let's see what the Spirit of the Lord came to do. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord, the Master, the owner of the universe has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to do what? Bind up the brokenhearted. He had sent me to proclaim what? Liberty. That means those who have been tied by ancestral causes and yokes and they have said, 
nobody will cross this boundary you are the one who will cross it for the first time and tell your family members the door has been opened everybody can now freely pass without bowing down to a dagon without bowing down to a deity there are some of us as you are sitting down right now our parents are putting pressure on us come home or come to the village let them go and bath you with whatever let me tell you africa has not forgotten where they are coming from they are still practicing it it's just that we are practicing part traditional religion and then on sunday we are doing religious christianity some people cannot just rise it's called limitation you know what limitation is you don't remain there you will move up but it's like there is a mark that has been placed over your family nobody rises there you see a man rising doing well he can get a job one day he will come back those deities are proving to you we are alive but tonight somebody kabali kabarosataya somebody will walk out and for the first time you will break those barriers and say people in my house just get children without getting married because of frustration when they are 55 years and no man is coming they say okay just get pregnant at least let's have children and you will say you are the one who will break that and you will usher in your children and everybody there are those who say they have vowed that your degree will remain a piece of paper you have gotten degree you have gotten masters but there is nothing around your life like that everywhere a man will vow pastor and say bring me your cv when you are about to visit that man someone will come in your dream and now molest you you get up the next day to go and the man will say i cannot remember telling you this ah, yeah. there's an army rising up There's an army rising now. There's an army rising now. Men and women anointed to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. There are some of us, you are the first person in your family to enter university or even to complete it. And the devil has vowed. He said it has never happened. And all hell is breaking loose. They say frustrate her. Frustrate him. Frustrate them. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that fly above the lives of people to jeopardize their prophetic destiny? Come on, pray. Pray. Tonight is a night of judgment. Tonight is a night of justice. Get angry. Tonight, I will break limits where my father did not enter. I will enter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everywhere pray, inside and outside. Begin to pray. I break limits. Satan, enough is enough. Come on, get angry inside and outside for your destiny. Let's 
Alléluia. Look up. Please listen. 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 There are some of us. What is plaguing your family is the cause of hardship. Nobody ever finds anything easy in your family. You are born again. You pray in tongues. But until you have suffered to a point where even when God wants to bless you, you don't want to receive because you are used to suffering. Everybody must walk like an elephant for everything. Some of our parents are working three jobs, five jobs, just to be able to raise 10 or 20,000 naira. It's a cost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I beg you in the name of the Lord. Please listen to me. I beg you in the name of the Lord. I want you to get angry tonight. One of the things that we must all break. The Lord was ministering this to me. Is this thing called limitation. Many of us don't know what limitation is. You know what limitation is? A mark has been drawn. And they say nobody can cross this mark. There are many families that are suffering this. For years, my father was working. The people that he was part of interviewing them to get the job became his superiors because there was a barricade. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, I don't know how to help you this night. Because there are many people who just say, is it, is it real? Look at your life. You have been claiming, oh, I'm free. But you are seeing trends happening in your family. Come on now. There is something to break this night. There is something to break this night. There is certainly something to break. hallelujah hallelujah look up there are some of us what must leave your family this night is the plague of death some after two two years or three three years or by september or a particular month somebody must die or be paralyzed or be sick patterns of wickedness When these limitations are broken, let me tell you, you will find yourself finally. You will see that doors will now be open. And do you know what? Listen, every time you force a door to open in the spirit, you bring others into that experience. Listen, hear this. Do you know there are many of us here? Our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of these things. It's just that where they went, they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break. So our parents tried and it didn't work. And God said, you, you are the one that has been chosen. Go, go for the family. Go for the family. Many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets. They have collected their money, plundered them, did everything. Nothing to show for it. We hear the chains falling. Tonight, the waters will be stirred. And I tell you, when the waters is stirred, these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally financially academically if you have been carrying an inherited disease 
Don't say it's like that in our family. This night, you must begin to contend. I can't remain SS simply because everyone is like that. I can't remain AS because everybody is like that. I can't have eye problem because everybody has it. Get angry. Shake it, ba 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 ba. Bring them, bring them, bring them in. Shira na 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 mo so na na na. Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside. Listen, there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. That fire, devils will begin to cry and jump out. Just those outside. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power to heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake the bokotos. Reketetetetete. So both so praise. Just those outside. The power of God is falling. I command devils, come out. Come out. Come out. I command powers. Demon spirits. I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, the angels of God are moving everywhere. Outside, the power of God is shaking every demonic hole. Acts of witchcraft, yokes, curses. Those outside, lift your hands again. Lift your hands. I just want you to focus on the screen. Those of you outside, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again. No power will hide right now. One, two, three. Go, 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 come out, come out of them. Devils, yokes, bondages, by the fire, shake it, take 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 it, take
shout that name Jesus and the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here are you ready now one two three sheketekete rekotopos embrebekete lekotosoparia the fire of God is coming down right now mightily shekete mekotosota tekepriastaba sombretekete Sekete, bring them out. Sekete, te 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 te. Ka prekete le bosa. Em prekete. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Separekata. Mam pre bosa protos. E krete le bosa. Pretista parianando sta paria. Sekete de 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 de. Se protos opaka. Ma prateko sopai. Em pretos te paliana ba 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 ba. Hallelujah. This role, lift your hands. The angel of the Lord is standing in this role. I pray right now, every activity of witchcraft, according to what the Lord is showing me, those in this row right now in the name of Jesus I want you to shout Jesus right now one two go let it be shaken oh God now 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 Let the fire break chains. I command every force of darkness. Go, go, go. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. Be exposed. Come out right now. Come out right now. Sepa 
There are still many people outside. Please, outside, lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside. At the top of your voice. After the count of three, many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you. My God, let no spirit, let no spirit remain right now. One, two, three. All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there by the blood, I bring a separation. I bring a separation by the blood now. Now, now, now. I bring a separation by the blood. The mystery of 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 the blood. mystery of the blood. Bring the lady. Bring her here. Sukatea, <laughs> Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her. 
For the light shines in the darkness. Let her go now. You know my voice. Out. Now, leave her. Out. Never return again. Now, all the devils here. At the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my voice. I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. One, two, so go, 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 out, 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 out. You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, go, go. Be free. I set you free. Shaka, <laughs> Let her go now. Leave this little girl. Out, devil of darkness. Out. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out. 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 Marital delay. Give me a hands. Oh, With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Go. Out of her. Now. Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take over. Out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. The serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Listen, some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. 
marital delay it will die now at once hold my hands look at me just look at me all right then you will leave her never ever to return to her again by the power of the holy ghost right now i challenge you something will leave you right now i'm seeing you tied in the spirit marital delay go never to return lay your hands on your stomach they will never say you have a fibroid I cause that spirit it's a family thing hold her this is a family thing may they be free oh God bring salvation to this family right now now in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Zigo Panada Garanda Shia Kataka do Siza Lagataka Branda Sila Barando Jigli. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandeka, Sete Laman Paria. You can move forward because something is tying you down right now in the name that is above every other name every delay in this place at the count of three i command the devils be gone right now one two three go 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 i cause delay i cause delay I cause delay. Baraba, Baraba, Baraba. Every kind of pain. Hey, hey. Every kind of delay. Ina to parike te bara. Baka bala bata. Shapata bata preke deva. Shapaka taba. Ita to sopania. Where is the woman? I, where is the woman I spoke about? One mama that was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? to see back at I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into lo any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is... This is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? From Edo. Edo State. Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now hold on. Why are you? I want to. It's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? 
the Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when? find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that, that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Light is shining. Madam, look at me. In the darkness. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? Is you are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain. At, used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. I was already healed. Yes. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They have been calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there is battle. I always complain. Why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything will touch me with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook. And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image. He was just saying different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm here. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into a university. Have you written jam? No, no. You are writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate, you will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam whether for you or for your loved ones i tell you the truth and i lie not see listen prophecy every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost receive your admission 
Where, listen, whether you know what you are writing or not, may my God hold your hands. That oh, hand, that hand, oh, 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 Nene, the girl who says it, if I be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen, many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me. No. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood. Go, now! Don't waste our time here. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne on high and throne Help me worship us. Be thou and marriage we're going to visit the issue of marriage right now please i want you to listen i'm just flowing as the holy ghost is giving me grace sister look at me just look at my eyes you must release her right now it's time for you to go out you go now in the name of the lord jesus christ I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Please, whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout Amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name in the name that is above all names I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost please get said something mighty will happen in this place now every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim right now as you shout Jesus they will depart from you now one two go every marital delay go 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 let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you may your life partner come into your life I prophesy I call for your life partner supernatural marriage hallelujah hallelujah a lady has been healed of chest condition outside check yourself and run out here check it looks like ulcer you just feel something leave you please check and run quickly quickly come and let God seal your miracle the Lord just ministered to me please check check hallelujah I'm about to pray for the sick right now every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus God has killed a lady a lady is that the lady another one come come you've been healed when God speaks to one he speaks to many look at just one prophetic word give them the mic is he working what happened to you just tell us quickly okay, I just felt a pain leave my chest. you felt something leave you yeah. do what you couldn't do before I felt pain in my chest. completely hold my hands never returns in the name of Jesus Christ let her go forever come what happened to you now I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How not, long? For I've how long? I've been on drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs even, is even in my bag right now. The drugs is, you go and yes. bring it. Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on. Are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names. Hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. All stars. All stars are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold it. Will when hold you try me. to breathe, it will hold you. To hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over, but I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't, I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check, and when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me, and now I'm healed. Breathe, do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, any sir. pain? No, sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six, six months. months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again in the name of Jesus Christ.
since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we we're outside and we shouted Jesus, I felt. You felt something. Yes. That so wicked said, thing that has sat there. He must pack his load and leave this night. I felt Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle run out here, even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem, but it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command. Eyes be healed. Be healed. Now, be healed. Be healed. Every blind eye open. Every blind eye open. Partial blindness be gone. In the name of Jesus, long-sightedness, short-sightedness, glaucoma, every eye condition, be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourselves. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth, in any part of your body what's wrong with him eye problem bring him god is healing people look at look at a miracle look at a big miracle look at look at this look at this look at what is happening to these people look at eyes are opening come on give jesus praise eyes are opening receive your miracle receive your miracle every kind of eye condition Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's, his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? This. I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? His mom. We came together. With him. Mama? Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your... No, no, let, let him lay his hands on you. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he could not cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa Kata local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Jesus, heal these eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus bow to the name of Jesus I command his eyes to open right now open right now please check him test him see, test him test him just test him if you've seen anything can you say don't be afraid this is a factory just test him sister stand up what is it eh? you saw light what are you seeing oh my god look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged huh can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light. I saw and it went you saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up, alright? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? 
I saw a sharp light in my eyes. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again. Yes, a sharp light. You've been in my using glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a half Who knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay. You all. Know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now, roommate. When we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her, so that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this. Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in my eyes. A sharp and I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine. For the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And right now, right now. I see miracles everywhere. You were healed? Who yes, brought this boy? Okay. Uh, How are you? Fine, sir. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone? Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay, what happened to you? As Please as make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as as I fell down and I come here. Now I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then can't later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving, and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. You mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? Is he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to eat you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? Yes. To the shame of the devil. <laughs> Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else, please? Only eye conditions. Okay. First God. I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I and it's gone. Me. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this... I don't know, every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me. What and you today, go blank? Epileptic yeah, or something? Today I was in class and my, I were reading. My friend was not asking me, what's wrong with me? I'm reading the word. I'm mixing the word. I'm like, it started since this year. And she's like, okay, that I need glasses. I'm like, I don't need glasses. Oh, when you are reading, yes. the, you will be skipping yes, the words. Yes, I'll skip the words. I'll go blank. And I don't know why. What happened to you now? When we're praying, I laid my hands on my, and my, hands on my eye. And then a light just, just hit me. And my hands touched Light me, again. You see the light? And my eyes got very hot. And then Your I eyes felt got hot. Open, yes. And you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. 
read Isaiah 51, just verse 1 and 2. Let's Hanging see. to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hen, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are dig. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed, him, blessed him, and I increased, and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. It, okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's. I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness. So in when your I eyes. went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly what? pterygium. That is. I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is some. Um, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went. I went and got right now. So, but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? Yeah. What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own? My sister brought Oh, me. your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? Your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eye. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh huh. I, I saw that the thing have gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, my eyes sometimes used to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But since that day, my mother and I never went. So sometimes I'll, my eye will, will be itching me. I was okay. like start, start feeling sleepy. But now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially... If you came here from outside Zaria, please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up. Very quickly, please help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now whatever it is please keep coming quickly come and line, line yourself as you come just be praying and say Lord this is it I am parting with this sickness Hide me from the rain. Say, My God, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever He will reign. My God is.
as I pray for you, just begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. Let's pace them very quickly. Hallelujah. As I pray for you, please, I want you to believe. I already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands. And as I pray for you, you'll be healed. You'll be delivered. No matter what it is, please, don't go back the same. You don't have to go back the same. You do not have to go back the same. No matter what the issue is, I want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now. Thank you, Jesus. Please go ahead. Lord, I give you praise. It's in the name of Jesus Christ.
with him. He has what? What's the wait? Hold on. What's the issue? Yes, with my bike. And the leg broke. Wait! You don't try to lift him. This guy had an accident. Look just, at me. Since I when? I think a week ago now. You, you can't walk. The the nurse bandaged my leg. So then what happened? I started. I couldn't walk very well again, so I removed the bandage. Why did you remove the bandage? Because pulse was going out. Pulse was going out of the leg. Yes. Where is it? Ah, oh, goodness. Look at this. Look at me, brother. Yes, sir. Look at me. He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. He's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody is seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fixed this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come, come, walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't, don't, just do what you couldn't do. He, he's surprised. He's short looking at his leg. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what, hold on. See, the guy, what is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying you are up. feeling it now. Yes. Everybody clear the way for him. Rush, go and come back. Walk, go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with you. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains, Phew. keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God, heals me when I'm broken, strength when I feel weak. He's great. 
my God is awesome. He is awesome. He's awesome. awesome. He is awesome. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. My God is awesome. Hallelujah. He's awesome. awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. Injection. It spoils the leg. Which of them? The right. You've never been able to use it. Mm, except with age. Except? With an age. Try to move it. I can move it. Just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it. Yeah? Just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come.
Just please. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Lord, she's totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. You are the joy of the whole world. Quickly, you are quickly. the joy of the That's whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please ushers quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, write you one quickly. You are the joy of the whole world.
anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on, fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah? Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every Miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship. Just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues. Is that okay? Please go ahead. Shekata ba 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 ba. You do wonders in me. Shekata ba 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 kata ba. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray. That every request here be turned into testimonies. Say faithful God. Let there be deliverance, so God. of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus 
Sara praki jali ma zata la broki jili bana zata ya. Rika lo jali kra zata ta pata shitaba. The God of all flesh jara paka ta shilia. Le zari ka pata sha we declare. La zata pata sha. The one that parted the Red Sea. Raka pata shitalaba. Ribi zuri brani ne kocho shitalaba. Do the impossible right now. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. You break upon the rings and you pat it into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. Testimonies, testimonies in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare that with this request, so oh God, let, the, let there be possibility right now in the name of Jesus. Miracles, miracles, open doors in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the be name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on our chest. Out now. Release her and go. Now. Hallelujah. And he said to me, prophesy. And I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wanted. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was a sound, a rattling sound, and bones began to be joined to bones. And he said unto me, Son of man, prophesy to the four winds. And I prophesied, O wind, breathe upon the slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the slain, and there stood an exceeding great army. I want to prophesy over your life. I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father, because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. 
hallelujah and Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said blessed be Abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and the prophet said in Samaria by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow the Bible says believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper by a prophet he brought them out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved he says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward do the impossible do the impossible i'm not singing just concentrate my god would you step in and do the impossible do the impossible change the unchangeable Change the unchangeable, my God. Step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that causes breakthrough and deliverance. I command right now. Let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost. Restoration now restoration now restoration by the power of the holy ghost receive restoration everything you have lost for whatever reason it was lost i command restoration of opportunities in the name of jesus restoration of destiny help us restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now 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 in the book of job he says in six things will he deliver you yea in seven things and one of them is the scourging tongues of men when men sit down and make enchantments in the name of the God that I serve every cause every pronouncement over your life because now because now because now, because now. Then the Bradisha la Cabaro Sadana Malabi. For he has broken the gates of brass and he has caught. 
the iron in sunder my god i pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names if god be in this place i command those two leaf gates be open now be open now i prophesy be open now by the power of prophecy be open now everyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above every other name Satele kabande kretisa kai ashete te balaka ta prege de balada bagada baga. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they brought Mephibosheth, a man who was not qualified, but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God, wherever you need favor for jobs. I prophesy receive it now receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west I command jobs every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward may his prophecy come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now I command break records break records set new records do what has not been done I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted the Bible says withhold not good from who him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name that is above all names we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the lord come alive now dead relationships come alive now I pray for your academics for he has given me the tongue of the planet that I may know how to speak the word induces into him that is weary he said my tongue is the pen of the right the ready writer my heart has indicted a good matter yea i speak of excellent things daniel was made 10 times better he said i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say that when you stand before them you shall not think of what to say for in that very hour it will be the spirit of your father speaking I pray everyone called doll I change that testimony now everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of jesus i 
and everyone that has vowed that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of jesus christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted i speak to every job here receive increase i speak to every business here grow i command you to grow i speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of jesus christ let the favor of god that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers i prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus may that favor hit you where you are may that favor change you may it cause men to bless you hallelujah and i pray may the presence of god go with you everywhere you go everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of god pornography masturbation whatever it is it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ every dead spiritual life every dead prayer life every dead word study life in the name that is above all names come alive now receive the fire for prayer take it take it take it take it take it take it the fire for prayer take it the spirit of prayer and supplication take it let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of jesus grace to pray grace to study grace to understand hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise i pray the bible says the gift of a man makes room i pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried i prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. When I cried. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 Thank you for lifting my head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing. There are people here tonight who are saying, I'm tired of my life. 
I'm tired of living my life the way I want. I need to surrender my life to a God that is higher and greater than me. Some of you have probably given your heart to the Lord. Please listen. But tonight Jesus is calling. You may have a Christian name. That's not the same as salvation. You may even be a pastor. That's not the same as salvation. Tonight the Lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely. I'm going to make an altar call. Just one to five. I want you to run from outside, from inside. Please run like your life depends on it. You are saying, Lord, I am tired. Take it. Take it. It is yours and I'm giving it back to you. I am tired of living life my own way. I have done my best. I relinquish that whole one. Please rush quickly. Celebrate them as they come. Two. Uh -huh. Just come and as you stand here, just begin to pray. And say, Lord, take over. Take over. That's the song. God bless you. You are saying, Lord, I surrender everything. I've been living my life the way I want. But tonight, I'm in business with you. Four. Please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family members stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friend stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, take everything. Take over. I'm tired of living my life my own way. I give to you. hallelujah i salute every one of you for coming don't make this an emotional decision mean it from the depths of your heart no matter what you have done wrong no matter how you've lived your life i want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from emmanuel's veins and that fountain flows to bless you it flows to wash you it flows to cleanse you lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart Please, you're not reciting a poem. This is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you. Unable to help myself. I ask you to help me. Cleanse me. Wash me. With your precious blood. I truly repent of my sins. In the name of Jesus, I receive eternal life into my spirit from today. No backsliding. Some of you, as you are praying this, I tell you, the power of the devil will be broken. All of the chains. You're going to say, Satan, I denounce you right now. Take your hands and live my life. I declare that I'm saved. I'm a child of God. The Lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory. I cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life. From today, I'm sold out and totally surrendered. Now keep your hands lifted. Father, bless these ones. You have brought them, use them mightily. Let the power of sin be broken in their lives. Let the power of the grave be broken. Let the power of the flesh be broken. Anoint them and use them mightily, O God. Let this not be a, an emotional decision. Let this be a genuine decision. In the name of Jesus. Make mighty men out of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. I want you to look at me. 
I congratulate you for this great decision. Everyone here made this decision at one point. Now I'd like you to just follow our ushers. There's a wonderful sister waving her hand. I want you to just follow them. They'll have, they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow. God bless you. Please follow them. Follow them very quickly. Please. All those worshiping with us for the first time, if this is your first time here at Koinonia, we love you. Please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing. God bless you. If this is your first time, wherever you are, just run and come. There is a special blessing for you. Don't wait for your neighbor. You are the first person. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Thank you. Thank you for coming. We celebrate you. We honor you. We thank you. Keep coming. Don't stop. We have a prayer for you and we have a blessing. And all those who took the pain to invite anybody here, may God invite all the blessings you need in your life. I'm very serious. I'm not just saying it. If anyone came here as a result of your invitation, I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia. We love you. We bless you. I believe you are blessed tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy upon their lives, Koinonia. Bless them. We speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with prosperity. We bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit. We bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding. We bless you with grace. We bless you with the power of the Holy Spirit. May you experience the life of God in a new dimension. May God plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for coming. We love you. We're always here Fridays. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Please, you follow the ushers. They will have your details. They will welcome you more on our behalf. And you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you for coming.